Simpsons Index, an online spreadsheet that is also a podcast. This is the podcast. Coming at you from the Temple of Doom, this is the Simpsons Index, episode 51. Hello there, I am your host, Elliot J. O'Neill, and joining me in this Doom Temple is... Jordan. And... Phil. And finally... Hello, this is Mole Man in the morning. Good Mole Man to you. Today, part four of our series on the agonizing pain in which I live every day. <laughs> Good to have you all here. <laughs> just, just so depressing. <laughs> That's Mulman. And of course, joining me this week is John, Phil, and BT. Hello, guys. Hello. And thank you. <laughs> Nicely that harmonized. Was, that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like a major chord. <laughs> and yes, this is the podcast where we watch and review three episodes of The Simpsons at a time. The catch is each episode comes from a different decade, and we take our ratings and rankings and put them in a spreadsheet at thesimpsonsindex.com. <gasps> Do I have to remind you to breathe every episode? Baby. <laughs> <laughs> And starting out tonight, we watched an episode from the HD era. This was season 22, episode 17, Love is a Many Strangled Thing, written by Bill Odenkirk, first released in March of 2011. And in this episode, Homer embarrasses Bart at a football game by tickling him until the point that Bart pisses himself. And then Homer goes into counselling and uh, learns, much to his surprise, that strangling his son is not a good thing to do. Gasp. So he goes into therapy where Kareem Abdul-Jabbar starts choking him and then he becomes uh, very uh, emasculated and... Afraid of Bart. Afraid of Bart and Bart starts taking advantage of that. Guys, what did you think? I actually really liked it. I thought it was one of the newer ones that I enjoyed watching and it was funny and made sense. Mm Mm-hmm. I felt weird. Yeah. <laughs> like, the, it was another example of good jokes, but of a bit of a bullshit story. Story-wise, and my big hang-up on this one is going to be that the whole plot centers around what was formerly, like, a Simpsons running gag. And I guess... The in whole that, choking Bart thing, so... Yeah. yeah, and I guess on that note, like, I appreciate this episode because, I don't know, maybe it was just because... I'd, parents hit their kids when the simpsons were first around and that's not so much the thing and well, it was, such a, was like, it always so shocking it was such a like huge exaggeration that instead of having the brady bunch sit down and let's talk about our feelings bobby it was all yeah just straight to choking <laughs> maybe when they first did the joke i don't know if it was meant to be a running gag mm. but then they were like hey, he's got to laugh we'll just make it like a thing yeah. but everyone that it's happened in front of like have just not had a problem with it Yep. Prior, and this yep. is the first time where it's mentioned, like, hey, maybe we'll do a thing about oh, it not being cool. Wrong. This is yeah. like the, when they had the Simpsons uh, 25th anniversary, the silhouette of Homer choking Bart was like the, the five or the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was... Or maybe it was the 20th for the zero or something like that. So that's how iconic this is to the show, to then turn around and let's make an episode about how it's wrong. It, it feels a little odd. Like, yeah, it's... but I kind of think that the fact that he went to a a father support help group. Mm, and they were the ones that And they were the ones that were shocked by it. Yeah. Maybe that's pandering to the ultra mm. liberal uh, social justice warrior types. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Look, I think thing- it was a good thing for them to tackle because there have been a lot of times and then especially in the new episodes where they do a Bart cho- a Homer choking Bart joke and yeah. it's just super uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it feels like child abuse rather than a, a funny animation bit where Bart's tongue's all waggly and mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. I guess the the other problem is that two of the fathers in the support group were Kirk and Apu. I'm sure that Homer has strangled Bart in front of either of them before. Mm. Oh, if yeah, not yeah. canonically, then it's probably happened, let's yeah, be yeah. honest. And like it's now they're suddenly like, oh no, that's <laughs> that's terrible. I can't believe you would do such a thing. I don't know, it just seemed a bit forced. Mm. Yeah. What I didn't like about the story though is uh, how it flipped with Bart then taking advantage of Homer. Yeah. I still think there was a lot more meat on the bone of, um, yeah, just teaching Homer not to strangle his kid. Yeah, he went from yeah. not strangling to immediately useless. Yeah, yeah very it really, it flipped it on itself very hard. And yeah. Bart's gone, oh, he's not strangling me anymore because he's attempting to help. I'll take all the advantage. But the advantage of that that he took was a thousand percent of oh, anything yeah. you would do. Oh, yeah. It wasn't even that he took advantage. He just turned really mean. Yeah, like, really maybe. awful all of a sudden. Like, not wasn't like light-hearted, fun pranks. It was like, I'm just going to be a complete douchebag yeah. from yeah. now on. It's yeah. kind of like, um, there are other ways to punish a kid. Yeah. 
Well, you know, the school could stop him because he's riding a, uh, the tractor through the middle of the halls. Well, then again, he did take down the chief of police. I know Wiggum is pretty useless. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard, but still, he did. But still, yeah. <laughs> did hog tie him in his underpants on top of the tractor. So yeah. I, I feel like it's a kind of a Ludovico technique kind of thing that yeah. they were doing. I know, I'm going yeah. no, <laughs> to... Pulling out the textbooks. Uh, I, I was thinking no, the same thing. I'm so, going yeah. clockwork yeah. orange on your ass. The, yeah. The, um, uh, the, sorry, what is Ludovico? Ludovico te- is the it's the thing you know in uh, Clockwork Orange how he's forced to like he gets the like oh, nausea yeah. drugs yeah. as he's watching all the horrific things and oh, I thought it was called Clockwork Oranging someone yeah. <laughs> that's that's the common name yeah, ah, yeah. absolutely or right. Kubricking <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> when you just fuck with people so I kind of I think they could have done it better with Homer mm-hmm. like he kind of just seemed like a oh no like I don't want to do that or what you're a tree now and all this thing. and I was yeah. kind of a bit like. I don't know. It doesn't, I'm not believing you that you're really kind of upset about it. Yep. Yeah, well, and it's just super like unnecessary for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. <laughs> like, I get, yeah, they're trying to have someone that's bigger than him. Yeah. But no, I was okay with that because yeah, you got to find someone that makes Homer feel like a child. But sure. Also, yeah. I, I don't know that much about the NBA, so I quickly googled because I thought it'd be a great joke mm. if Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was famous for choking, but apparently he's not. No, he's actually a really nice guy. <laughs> no, no, but I meant like if he had like a famous choke in like Game Six of the Oh, the world, gotcha. The World yeah, yeah, Series yeah. Cup of Stanley's or whatever. Did he it is. choke? No, I was, I was thinking about Game of Death, which he's in with Bruce, oh, Bruce Lee. Lee. <laughs> he seen didn't it. choke him; he just kind of kicked him in a yeah, lot. Yeah, he just had really long. Feel that tall? You just kick, and people can't get <laughs> within like eight feet of you. Yeah, this is true. Another part of the story that just made absolutely no sense for whatever reason in the fourth act, because uh, yeah, yeah, this yeah, there was, was a, four acts. That's what I was going to yeah. ask. Later Simpsons do have like sometimes a four act structure, and this was just a common. It is common of American television where. They just want to fit in another ad break. Mm. You know, uh, more overly long commercials for pharmaceutical products that spend a minute listing oh, about what can man. go wrong. That it's is so, so scary. Weird. Yeah, America, how do you deal with that? <laughs> it's just normal for them, I guess. I guess, but still. But for us, it's like, are you serious? Like a doctor just doesn't say, just take this? It's yeah, weird. totally. Anyway. If you feel indigested, take Forazepam. Side effects may include spontaneous human combustion, turning <laughs> into a lizard, extra long nails, extra... St- Short tea. nails. <laughs> yep. Swallowing your own tongue in your sleep. Losing your eyeball and having no idea what happened to it. And then finding out you never had one to begin with. <laughs> and Existential now back to the crisis. Show. <laughs> Adult Swim did a um, like a parody of one of them that went for like nine minutes. And then it just got really dark <laughs> yeah. really quickly. They do, though. They're like, you know, nausea, headache, yeah. occasional fever, sudden death. You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> go back, go back, go back. Is that a this is an antidepressant. Is that a <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a bit, somewhere between in the fourth act... Um, there was just this weird jump to what seemed like it was setting up a B story, just with Marge and Lisa all of a sudden having a girl's yeah. day. It could have just been, yeah. what's Marge and Lisa up to? I think that's exactly what that was. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, we haven't heard from either of the females in this well, household. Because what was that? Two scenes, I think. Yeah. Let's watch these sad horse movies. We're watching these sad horse movies. The end. And it was pretty much the same joke. Like, uh, yeah, this horse movie is sad in the first one where they're doing the titles, and then this horse movie is sad now that we're watching it. And it was such a weird aside that had nothing to do with the main plot. Mm. Yeah, it was very out there. So, yeah, we'll get back to the story in a moment, but play count. How many times do you think you've seen this episode? This is the first. Never. Never. I have seen this episode a few times before. I don't tend to revisit it because I actually like season 22. I think Mm -hmm. it's one of the best HD era seasons. And this is actually a low point on it for me. But having said that, this revisit, it was kind of funny. (laughs) Yeah, when you I remember you talking about like season 22 is one of the good ones. And I'm watching this and I'm like going... It's all right, I guess, but yeah. yeah. Let's not throw around the word good. No. <laughs> Look, I mean, for an HD episode, oh, yeah, the fact sure. that we have to preface it by saying, for an HD, HD episode, though, yeah. is kind of... Yeah. Well, Tell I've said it enough. plenty of times, but the number of HD episodes which have no structure and they're just, things happen, episode's over. You're like, at least this one had a plot. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and I'd have said, like, w- other ones we've seen of the current era where they get into the main story by the most convoluted mm. system. Like, yeah. I think this one today where... Immediately, it sounds convoluted, but I'll say it out loud. Mr. Burns <laughs> is doing a inspection of the uh, nuclear power plant via a hot air balloon and yep. needs to be shot down because he's being carried away on a Zephyr and Homer shoots him down and his reward is tickets to a football game and then that re- results in him and Bart being on the Jumbotron and Bart mm-hmm. wetting himself on the Jumbotron. I think that was all right. Like, that was reminiscent of the older seasons where... 
there was jokes and there was a point to getting into what was happening. Mm. And it didn't take too long. Like, it was only yeah, it a did, third of the first seg. It didn't involve, like, six abandoned plot lines to get there. Yeah, yeah. And, it kind and, of... and not one of these sort of hard left turns where mm. it's just two different shows in one. Yeah. Although it did feel like that to me where I felt like Homer strangling Bart and Bart taking advantage of Homer could have been two separate storylines. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it was just a weird response to <laughs> Homer's lack of physical discipline. Mm. Mm. So ultimately, did it feel like an episode of The Simpsons? Mm. It had a lot of strangulation in it. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, true. yeah, that's a very on point for the characters. <laughs> well, isn't I feel it? the fact that they drew attention to it is un Simpson like. That's kind of my issue with it. It's yeah. just more a con- concept kind of thing. Yeah, I guess integrity wise, no one was particularly off. I guess Homer was because but of that the... was the point. He yeah. Had, he, it was justified through his therapy and, you know, Habu, Kareem, Jabbar. Mustafalis, <laughs> Ab- Abdul, and the other guest star for this episode was Paul Rudd playing a slightly Irish counselor. I think Paul Rudd played the only part that Paul Rudd can play, which is Paul Rudd in a, swe- <laughs> yeah. in a sweater. He just has different coloured sweaters. He's the Ned Flanders of real life. <laughs> like he's not offensive. No, yeah, but just kind of a nice guy. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like that's his defining feature. It's like vanilla ice cream. You won't go out and get it, but if someone gives you vanilla ice cream, you're like, you're like okay, hey, fine. Cool. Yeah. yeah, that's what. We'll have it with more interesting things. Yeah, you put yeah. other things on there, but <laughs> you yeah, certainly things around. It's the vanilla that is better. Yeah, yeah but looking at you, yeah. Ant Man. <laughs> I don't. Uh, the therapist I liked. I wasn't a big fan of Kareem Abdul Jabbar's performance. But... I do like in the montage where they're you know spending ages choking Homer. He like tags out and has to have someone get sub in for him for a while. Yeah. That was yeah. funny. I did also say I also liked a lot of the jokes at the um, when they. Go to the stadium and it's just got everything yeah yeah, yeah. it's got a museum of tolerance and two fans from competing teams come out <laughs> just quietly hug each other and cry yeah. and yeah. the uh, zoo of mascots that was pretty good the zoo of mascots yeah they're all the fighting dolphin oh, just slapping the panther talking about the uh the, that montage i do like the song choice they picked for that no more mr nice guy yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alice Cooper. i was like okay it's a bit of an on the nose song choice but like just thinking about it these stories did just sort of like were almost excuses for these montages because no more Mr. Nice Guy montage where Homer's mm. getting strangled. And then this weird movie reference uh, yeah. oh, okay. uh, dream sequence yeah, later. Yeah, I want to talk about that. Was it, yeah. it was weird because it was like two movies, but then just like one about Joe yeah. Jackson and Michael Jackson as well. Yeah, that was... The yeah. Jackson 5 was out of nowhere. Yeah, but then he does a great Santini reference uh was that the basketball one what that's, was that that's the basketball one that's robert duval is like a an ace pilot and he like doesn't let his son win at basketball uh and abuses him and his he's a wanker and then precious and then they just went on too long uh, yeah you, you have to say the full title precious based on the novel push by sapphire <laughs> so yeah this Oprah's w- book club <laughs> <laughs> Take it away. Jesus. do you make money saying that or do you just do it for fun i just like the full title and then did it end up Titanic? Was that what that was? Or was it Speed 2? Yeah, I couldn't uh, tell. Well, either way, they got him on the boat. And first of all, like the boat at the start said, limit one precious. And Yeah. There was a uh, lot of fat jokes. Yeah, a lot of fat jokes at the precious thing. And they didn't feel like they were at Homer. They felt like they were at precious. Yeah, and that was That's just part. extra mean. Ain't too many roles in Hollywood for you now that you've done that one movie. Yeah, that was a mean line. But then she was also running away from the falling TVs while eating a bucket of chicken. So they yeah. were really, really laying re- Somebody laying really didn't that. like either Precious or the movie Precious based on the based book. Based on by push by <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, just to stick up for it, Gabare Sadibi is awesome. She is like really funny and a really good improviser as well. Like, yeah. Yeah, uh, so let's talk about the wackiness of this episode. Oh, I have so many wacky things <laughs> to talk about, which is great. Which are some of them? Oh, okay. Um, uh, the old Jewish man is dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they killed him. Yep. Yeah, um, he's a ghost now. Another Dancing montage that everybody dance now. <laughs> it's that, not really a montage. That did go on for about fifteen seconds longer yeah. than it should have. Yeah. Though. Yeah. The only thing I liked about it was Bart's line of, uh, oh, this song seems a bit bossy for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For everybody to dance now. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah, all the other Jumbotron jokes were a bit uh, lacking for me, especially after he pissed himself and it said, got urine. Like, yeah. this episode was 2011. That joke was old in 20. <laughs> <laughs> 1900 years ago, is it all joke? I forgot yeah. what they called that year. 
<laughs> 20. <laughs> 20 double O. Yeah, I, like the, the tractor bit, like with with Bart going in and, and like terrorizing people with the tractor, and you know, yeah. the door would swing and he'd be doing something yeah, else, yeah. and the door would swing and he'd Which be. It's a classic comedy bit, but yeah, it didn't just, quite land. Here. It just went, it just, mm. he did about six different or eight different things, yeah, I think. It was way too long. And it sucks because that joke undercut the previous one, which I liked, which was, Bart, what are you doing with a tractor in school? What would your father say? And Bart made Homer right on the chalkboard. Yeah. So, yeah. See, that was a good misdirect. I didn't actually see that coming. No, that's true. I wasn't expecting Homer to be there. Or I was expecting, because when it the, it first comes in and it clinks Mrs. Krabappel's yeah. cup and like spills a little drop, yeah. I thought, well, she's not going to take this no, shit. Yeah. <laughs> but then... They made it seem like, oh, well, she's no nonsense. She's like a rock. She's mm-hmm. there. And but then at the just, end, she just kind of gets pushed aside like, oh, no. And yeah. I, I just, I don't know. It just yeah. seemed weird. Yeah. I did think that was going to be the thing that tips it off is like, he's not getting disciplined at, at home, home anymore. So it's going to be a so school. So it's going to be a school teacher. Yeah, thing. I thought that too. And I'm like, okay, this is interesting, but it didn't happen. It's amazing that like, we all had that same thought just on that one little moment of the attract, well, they attractor cheesing a coffee pull cup. Pull such yeah. attention <laughs> to it. It zooms right in so you can see the clink and the spill of the coffee. Yeah. And you're like, mm-hmm. oh, Mrs. Krabappel's going to be, oh, wait, she's over. I do have to say, <laughs> I'd love of the gag where they were talking about Bart peeing his pants on the um, the news. And they, oh, said, yeah. and they said uh, <laughs> the stadium has decided to open the roof of the stadium to air out. Yeah. But the Russian spy satellite has seen the, the peed pants and uh, detected that as a sign of, of American, American a weakness. Sign of weakness. And there is now a Russian fleet in yeah. New York Harbor. <laughs> New York Harbor. I was like, that, yeah, awesome. the that one was way it. to make someone feel even worse. Yeah. About yeah. yeah. Was it just me or did Kent Brockman's voice sound wrong? It sounded weird to me. Like no. it didn't sound quite. No, I got to say, I liked his delivery because it was it was a bit schoolyard in the way that like he kept making reference to it. Like, <laughs> also, um, why did this episode start with a sh- Futurama ship and the Futurama? Oh, I know the answer music. to that. Oh. So Futurama was renewed for a seventh season the week this episode aired. Ah, it was oh, a little right. celebration moment. So yeah. promptly cancelled two weeks later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, two weeks. That's four cool. years. <laughs> they, they got another good run like as we yeah. said time is relative oh and by the way to all our listeners out there happy fry july yeah this is where we celebrate philip j fry and all things futurama so oh. go futurama a little bit i thought yep. you were just gonna <laughs> celebrate philip <laughs> oh next time man when your name rhymes with a month yeah damn it <laughs> for timber um i did want to ask as our resident football expert uh so when they go to the stadium and they kick off the football it hits a chandelier are chandeliers football no chandeliers <laughs> are precisely not football see that's what got me. i think the joke was that it was such a fancy stadium that mm. they had chandeliers where there ought not to be chandeliers ah. you know what though for from a f- sport point of view amazing kick because the guy hit the chandelier <laughs> still got the field goal still got it, yeah. Yeah. Like, he compensated for chandelier yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's very a professional good, that's a hell of a kick yeah. very good kicker put that man on the Wheaties box <laughs> and right? I actually didn't re- remember that this bit was in here as well because normally I like to bring Phil an American football <laughs> episode and I didn't actually have one for this week so there you go still yeah. still keeping up the theme luckily right. kept me happy otherwise you'd be hearing about <laughs> you'd be hearing about it in February <laughs> hey. what from your lawyer who's um uh, out in shanty town with all the um, other counselors and uh, think you better yes. believe it. Yeah, the zombie Somaliers. <laughs> I did yeah. actually quite like that. I did yeah. like the other his, useless profession. Oh. His line was, "It's what I drink at home." Yeah. <laughs> in zombie voice. Although I do kind of feel like Thirty Rock also had that line. I don't know who came first. I'm like... pretty sure this came first because that was a late um, true, Thirty true. Rock joke. Yeah, where it's like... Uh, uh, what was it? A uh, travel agent and a guy who used to play bitch and sack solos in rock music. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Professions that don't exist anymore. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, does Springfield have an NFL team then? Like the Atoms? Is that... Is, they um, almost had the meltdowns. That's true. The isotopes are the baseball team. So. Because he says, oh, just tickets to an NFL game? Like bobblehead day? He goes, no head day. <laughs> but then it's still an NFL game and it's like out at Springfield Stadium and then it's yeah. the Adams that are yeah. playing and I'm like, so they just I guess have so. a team? I guess so. Okay. Yeah. I like that it was also no head day at the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> big sign that said it. Because there is another old episode where uh, I think Homer becomes a college football coach and yeah, there's a guy with the good kicking and then his leg comes off uh, mid-kick. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. One. Where Bart's a healer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's a back. I, I like that episode. Yeah, yeah. I do like going way back to the beginning of the episode where Mr. Burns congratulates Homer for saving his life and goes, I will give you anything you want, anything you wish for or ask, I will give it to you. And I thought, this is the entire moment where Homer's like, Oh, I wish I had one more donut. He'd be like, God damn it. But he's like, All your money and all your stuff. Yeah, that <laughs> was Homer really being smart <laughs> yeah, for yeah, once. And Mr. Yeah. Mr. Burns is just 
lower and more likely. More likely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was a good back and forth. And also Mr. Burns's whole thing with the hot air balloon I thought was a bit charming where yeah. someone had spray painted kill Mr. Burns and he leans over and spray paints skilled Mr. Burns. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so one more wa- really wacky thing. It, it, I know Homer likes a drink mm-hmm. and he likes beer, but mm-hmm. he's like super alcoholic in this one because he's yeah. like pouring vodka just into his drink in yeah, the morning uh, for breakfast. Now it's morning. Yeah, I really wish they left that as an unspoken gag because like the visual of it to me was funny of him going mm. oh blah 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 alcoholism or something but then they had to go him oh now it feels like morning and that that made it sad to me but he, yeah. he said something like um I couldn't quit drinking more than I could quit being a man yeah, yeah. and I was like oh that's that's I, yeah, again, that's, that's very sad not cool it sounds like it's, it's almost a tie in between disciplining your kids via choking and yeah. morning drinking yeah. yeah, yeah, it was very weird. Um, so how about the heart of this episode? Did you guys feel the heart? I did not. No, no, <laughs> no not really. I guess I smiled at the end of the resolution where Bart and Homer made up. You know, uh, we'll, yeah. we'll get close to uh, spending the rest of our lives suing this guy for all he's got. Yeah, and then he goes like, "Sue me for what? The hollow out tree, which I leave instant cut to the hollow out tree, and <laughs> they're just hanging out in it, which is like great. That. Yeah, that was good. That was well, a good gag, but didn't make any sense. But it's a good gag. While they had an ending. Mm-hmm. And ending, yeah. <laughs> I don't think anything was resolved. Like, Bud didn't learn a lesson, I don't no, feel. No, there wasn't any, no. I don't know, realisation that they have to choke him to reel him in, even no. though that, feel, that feels like a weird resolution to If have. anything, Homer had to stop being yeah. hung and then stop poor Rudd choking Bart. So yeah. Bart literally learnt nothing because he'd just watched Homer hanging from a noose for 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, Jordan's animal corner, that's not how nooses work. <laughs> If you do them right, <laughs> it's supposed to break your neck immediately. Yeah, but you could still be alive with a broken neck. It's That's just true. Not fun. Well, this was kind of my problem with this being the focal point of the episode to begin with. Is like, how do you go back to zero? Because either Homer has to go back to being abusive, mm. or Bart has to accept that. He should get strangled. Like that's why I kind of didn't want to go there because like how do you come back? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they, have... they just didn't. So they, yeah. Yeah, it's easy. Ignored, so ignored it. yeah. In that real light, it, it's almost a great ending because it's like, <laughs> well, uh, that kind of fixes it. I, I think that's where the, the writers just went, dropped the mic, and went, "It's Friday. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, guys." <laughs> what they should have done is someone a hobo walk past, chloroform both of them, and they just wake up the next day in bed, like, oh, it's a normal day. <laughs> Back, Back to, to normal. zero, yeah. <laughs> and just uh, imply that a hobo did awful things to them while they were unconscious. Not mm. all hobos. I mean, <laughs> you can imply that if you wish. I am. <laughs> Sounds like you do wish. <laughs> so, yeah, the heart of this episode was kind of lost on me, and especially in that, like, nothing Lisa and Marge scene. Like, yeah. Mm, that, um, that no. unquestionably fill our stuff. Yeah, but yes or no, would you watch this episode again? Uh, probably not. I mean... Uh, I'd have to be really drunk. Yeah, think about <laughs> hangover <laughs> test is what we usually go to. Yeah, but it I'd need or to be airplane. Bill, would you watch this one again? No, probably not. No. It wasn't really anything. As much as I enjoyed the pants snake gag, wasn't that great? Oh yeah, yeah. that's a that was a fun bit of wacky. Yeah, that's See, because I thought it was like really eye rolling when it goes uh, reaches to his pants. Uh, that's not a snake, is it? No. Uh, yeah, that was the most obvious joke you could have possibly yeah. made. Yeah. But where the joke redeems itself is where, there we go, now the snake will go back to its natural habitat straight back into the pants. <laughs> <laughs> Did make me laugh. But no, I wouldn't watch it again, even for pants, snake. <laughs> well, I'd have to be, like, incapacitated in some degree. So if I'm on a plane and I can't sleep, and like, I'll turn this on and try and sleep during it, but then you end up watching it. All right. That's why I've seen Herbie fully loaded. Because <laughs> I turned it on to take it to go to sleep, and I just stayed away. I was about to say, speak, speaking of Ludovico technique, this is. <laughs> no. I just have a couple of other quick problems. Yep. Fire. Bart is pushing different emo- emo- like buttons when he's like text yeah, doing bullying, the same emoji. but it's the same emoji. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, that uh, Mo text gag. That was another joke that actually, I thought undercut itself. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say. I really, I thought the setup was going to be now that it's all in text, he can just show the guys. Yeah, you know the gag and see. I'm not actually just saying I'm a wiener. It's I, I am a. But he see? did. He did but show he them, them, and then they, were, they still the laughed whole, at him. It was, but it was like, the whole gag. He wasn't showing it. Isn't like look at these text messages I'm getting. Yeah. He's like, look, somebody's named me properly. On my own text. But the thing yeah, is that like the difference between a mobile phone and getting yeah. a text and your phone in a bar is that you can see where the number came from yeah. in the yeah. text. So you can call them back and As go, a- I'm going to cut you with a rusty blade. Yeah. yeah. I like the idea that 
yeah, it was going to be basically an evolution of the joke based on new technology. And then they just kind of didn't do that. And I was like, ah, oh, except yeah. when Mo's texting back and keeps getting it wrong. Yeah. But that kind of dragged on a bit much. So. And then the yeah. stupid, oh, I donated $20 to Haiti. Yeah. Like there's not. Oh, why oh. was that there? It doesn't also, even make to sense. Haiti. Yeah. To someone. I think was they that just had the uh, earthquake. earthquake. Yeah, that mm-hmm. seems about right, about six years ago. Yeah. Um, so, Phil, did you have any other notes about this episode? No, Pear Snake was the only one I really wanted to get to. <laughs> um, I thought when Marge went to go talk to the counsellor that she'd discover a wicked, nefarious secret that the counsellor was actually a shill for big something. Yeah. But it turns out they were all just unemployed and homeless. So that that was... section as well, Marge and Homer's like discussion. Oh, more than two people in a family shouldn't ever need therapy. Like yeah. that was sad, and then it dragged out so long when she goes to the counselling office. There was yeah, there was that good flashback which was alluding to uh, how Homer grew up when he was like, yeah, yeah. Oh, it must have been the way that I talked when I was a boy. And there's a flashback to his uh, Abe Simpson going to Homer, eat your cereal. And he, Homer, little Homer gets up on the Homer and goes, why are you little? And chokes his, his yeah. own dad. You know what? Abe, that, that's one character who was out of place because Abe wouldn't have taken that shit. No <laughs> way. It's especially not 1940s Abe. Yeah, but That's no. the thing. It was it was so quick that uh, it mm. doesn't. you don't need to think about it too much. And because like you know Abe Simpson, yeah. you're expecting, yeah, he's going to choke Homer. I enjoyed the misdirect, yeah. Yeah, and, and yeah, that's what I thought it was good for. Although you know that Homer got... It's shit beaten out of him after that, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he got strapped to a bed. Yeah. Um, BT, did you have any other notes about this episode? There's a bit where, similar to the Ludovico technique, uh, Homer goes to strangle Bart and then collapses to the floor, twitching because he can't do it. Huh. And then Grandpa Simmons is like, ah, oh, my son's first stroke. Yeah. It's like, it was somewhere between, ha, huh, and, oh. Dude, <laughs> and the amount of brain trauma that man's had, it's not his first stroke. Yeah. And it- Another undercut joke. I thought that was funny, and then he when he grabbed the video camera and then mm, yeah. <laughs> say, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that got that really that, yeah. That I think that's from, what drove it into sad. Town. Yeah, it went from a little bit funny to a little bit offensive. Yeah, yeah. One thing I want um again back to when Bart pees himself when Homer's like apologizing but trying to start a Mexican wave. Yeah. Yeah, the that way that whole rolled out and even yeah. Marge pointing it out. Homer, then the It's because everyone else is doing the wave. You don't have to. Oh, I'm trying to start one. Like, how do you not notice people not doing a Mexican wave? Wait, yeah. So then that makes Marge look dumb. Yeah. yeah. That, like, yeah. yeah. Also, uh, that's not how you start a Mexican no, wave. No, you don't do it by one person doing it. You have a big sign that says wave time. <laughs> yeah. And you got <laughs> a countdown <laughs> from 10. That's yeah. the yeah. whole thing. And then people can't count. There's always some fuckers who are too eager and they go at three and then nobody yeah. else goes. Oh, and then and you Stop boo it. the members stand because they don't do it and then everyone has a great yeah. time. And and that's how you sports. Back yeah. in the day, it used to be you go, members awake. <laughs> <laughs> and you just do that. Yeah. But I do love that when the wave hit the members stand, there'd be nothing happen. Yeah. And it'd pick up the other side. Pick up. But in perfect time. Yeah. Like As everyody on the other side's going like, here it's 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 here. Um, also, one thing with the football thing. Yeah. Sergio Mel says he's. He's he, wearing his pants. Yeah. No, he's, he said trousers mm. and they're clearly shorts. <laughs> oh, wow. You are. Cross picky. that. <laughs> <laughs> Something I've been sitting on. What if, go- I, if I had a pair of trousers and I cut them above the knee? What they are cut they? off. They're cut offs, yeah. No, no, but are they cut off trousers or are they shorts? I think they become their own entity. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> True. They become the cut off. Short. They're, Short. they're like those people that go to a country and then their country like cuts the immigration with the country that they've flown to. Oh. And so they're just without you a mean home. Terminal <laughs> men? Yeah. yeah. Basically. <laughs> you, they're like those people or that one guy that they have <laughs> yeah, one exactly. time. Yep. So two uh, jokes I wanted to bring up. The cactus section, I don't actually have anything to say about it. It just dragged out too long. And so did the bully Skype thing. But then I thought that joke was improved by Bart going, oh, why did I choose to moderate this? Yeah, Yeah. I had mixed feelings about the the Skype thing. Yeah. Why were they having a teleconference? Why did he choose to moderate it? Yeah, (laughs) these are questions we'll never know. Uh, I mean, uh, and I guess they were going for the funny trying to fist bump, but like not being able to line up because it's webcams. But uh, it, it, I wonder uh, what the original joke was there. Because the best joke in that is that why did I moderate this? But I wonder if they went, let's write a joke around them trying to fist bump on yeah. the webcam. It kind of feels like it was, There's, we hear cyberbullying is a thing. How does that work? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, when you'd agree to moderate something for your bullies and they won't yeah. leave you alone about how you wet your pants. Also, you, you've got a, a microphone and headset on to moderate a web chat yeah. for some reason. I've got. I, I've got to give it to both Jimbo and 
Was it Kearney or was it Dolph? Uh, I think it was Kearney. 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 That Kearney would cut into his France holiday <laughs> to Skype in. But also Jimbo had prepared a full map <laughs> oh, yeah. for weather, like girl kind of thing. Yeah. These weather are prof- person, sorry. These are professional bullies, yeah. you know. Yeah. They, they do their research. They take time off from their holidays. Yeah, it's <laughs> like a five second joke. They were yeah. like, we are going to do this right. I also like Curly Skyped in from Europe and had a European based pee pun ready. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm all the way in Paris, but you're over there. What do you, you say? You, but you're yeah. peeing yourself in, yeah. in Springfield. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I mean, it's not a great joke, but, no, but hey, they, a, I feel like they had a writer's room meeting between the bullies. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Guy, like a fifth grade bully. That's like, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Dedication. Uh, one just last thing. It was, it was kind of, again, it was a kind of, uh, don't say that. It was uh, when Homer was talking about his drunk driving class that he went oh, to yeah. he's like but those guys were so cool I was like oh, uh, yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing to be saying like I know it's a joke nah. but yeah. even then yeah. don't yeah. do it it felt like more they were going for I've been to drunk driving but yeah it didn't land very well yeah so. yeah, you could really go with uh, I got along well with those guys or yeah, we had yeah. A great time and that's it. enough yeah. you could even just go we had a great time together make it ambiguous whether it was because yeah. they were drunk driving or because they enjoyed being rehabilitated. Yeah. Now, Simpsons do have a complicated uh, run with alcoholic jokes, especially, as I always say, in the later era. All right, well, if that's it, I think it is time to rank this thing. You got yourself a deal. <laughs> On the Simpsons Index, we rank using our six-point scale, which starts down the bottom at failure. Maybe if the episode's meh, we'll give it a participant, and then the good rankings, you got bronze, silver, gold, and for the best of the very best, those awesome episodes which make you shit yourself... You give Cubic Zirconia. <laughs> and I'm going to go first. Let me show you how it's done. I have to give it participant. Like, uh, I may have even gone bronze before we started talking, but mm. as we talk, I just keep getting reasons that, like, nah, man, this is participant. So that's my ranking. BT, what do you think? Uh, I'm also a participant. I feel like I'm not going to remember any of the parts I like tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. You know, some of the other ones that have been okay, we've at least taken something away from it. But this one, I just kind of feel like I, I'm struggling to remember any of it now. Without looking at my notes, I I remember a football chandelier. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all you need. And speaking of football chandeliers, what about you, Phil? <laughs> How did you know my online handle? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna buck the trend on this one and give it. Can I give slightly higher than mid bronze, like a bronze 0.75? Yeah, like freshly pressed bronze. Yeah, like bronze that's just been cleaned, but then left <laughs> in the cupboard for a week. So it's not freshly pressed, yeah. but it's nothing else but. All right. Well, it'll be a bronze. Yeah. But, okay. You know, but... I give it. I give it bronze. Yep. Fair enough. Because it's the same color as my chandelier. So <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't hate it. There's no parts of it that made me actively dislike it and i think mm. i've been talked down a little bit over our chat from when i you did start off it. very excited so. all right bronze for phil how about you jordan uh yeah i'm gonna give a participant as well sorry there's just one other thing i i, I want to talk the the fact that i'm giving participant and maybe i kind of want to get a little bit more offended is the fact that the wikipedia article for this episode saves it yeah by when they say they're doing the plot summary and they talk about you know dr whatever and notices the butt enjoys when he gets hurt homer it links, there's a hyperlink to sadistic personality disorder. Really? <laughs> on the thing. And also, and later in the article, they call him annoying. He, se- he sees that Bart is annoying and sociopathic. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus. I don't think so, Homer notices any of that. Yeah. No, no, this is the doctor. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. Going, yeah. So uh, I was like, yeah, no, I'll give you a participant. Purely Uh, because of someone else's hard work on (laughs) documenting this episode. Well, there we go. And yeah, that averages out to a shiny participant. I think that's a good good place for this episode to sit. And it's only our third ever shiny participant. It'll be joining the Bob Next Door, the sideshow Mm -hmm. Bob episode where he does the face swap thing. And also Marge Gamer, where Marge starts playing a World of Warcraft-like clone. Yeah. What the what? Yeah. South Park did it and did it much better. Yes. I'm not surprised. Mm. I almost feel like a shiny version version is worse than just the normal version. Like if you got a shiny so failure, latest. that's like the polished turd. You know, actually, I had someone hit me up on Twitter. Uh, she said, uh, "Shiny failure." Yeah, that's how I refer to some of my uh, worser colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, all right, cool. Well, that about does it for Love Is a Many Strangled Thing. We're going all the way back to season nineteen now, and we're going to go watch Smoke on the Daughter. Ah, that's that why I'm in the Marge. <laughs> 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 And we 
are back and we just watched season 19 episode 15 smoke on the daughter <laughs> and it was written by billy kimball first released in march of 08 in this episode Lisa uh, takes up ballet, but finds that she gets an edge if she breathes in secondhand smoke from her smoking uh, fellow ballet students. And in the B story, uh, Homer and Bart have this weird jerky caper with a bunch of raccoons that look like them. Guys, what did you think? I quite like this one, actually. I remember I liked it a lot more than I remembered from the first time of having seen it. I chuckled. It, it gets a little stupid towards the end, but yeah, yeah. It, it's okay. It wasn't, I didn't love it, but it was an all right watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see where the rankings are going to go because I, yeah. I do not know where I'm going with this one yeah. yet. Because in some ways there were some really funny jokes, but ultimately the script was just a brilliant mess. <laughs> I know, but I, I feel like I got enough out of it. Except, yeah, again, I do have issues with like the last five minutes, which is yeah. a shame because everything up to then I think was quite good. Yeah, so talking about the story, the A story first, I thought actually this uh, followed a logical progression of uh, Marge wanting to do ballet again, take this yep. up. I love yep. how she uh, visits her shattered dream box that's in her disappointment <laughs> closet. <laughs> yeah. I, know, I can't remember it, so help me out, but there's a great bit where she's like, this is where I have everything I ever tried. Pulls out a stethoscope. It's like, when I wanted to be a doctor, puts it back, pulls out a stethoscope. When I wanted to be a safe cracker, yeah. puts it back, pulls out a stethoscope. And I can't remember the third one. It was, was a stethoscope, stethoscope salesman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought that was a really great joke. I like that. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, naturally getting Lisa into it when Marge finds out she's a bit too over the hedge for it. I guess it was a bit goofy, get Lisa getting into ballet, though. A little bit, but um, well, she got into gymnastics because she has, like, a perfectly weighted head. Yeah. So. And in this one, she has perfect posture. Apparently. Which I've never seen her stand I, like no. that before. Uh, yeah, I always stand like this way that I never have stood yeah. before. Uh, <laughs> the, the only, the, the redeeming part of that is when I tell adults what to do. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. <laughs> she, but she does that a lot, and she's never stood like that yeah. still. Yeah. I, guess um, I, I think a big bias for me in this episode is going, I really like the uh, ballet instructor. Yeah. yeah. Who's just like hilariously over the top. Yeah. yeah. Uh, played by Hank Azaria. And um, uh, makes sense. yeah, I think that he was in this episode a lot. And I think it was only actually like two jokes I didn't like. like mm. Yeah. You think we got it takes? Well, you don't because I got what it takes and I can teach it, but you didn't taught you, so you don't have it. Yeah. Come get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His yeah, ad at the beginning good. was very good. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a little goofy but i did like his reoccurring bit of like i haven't seen crap like this since my play crap like this F five weeks <laughs> i ran for five years yeah. Yeah. There, was, there was the other yeah. one like i haven't seen dancing like that since dancing like that oh yeah, yeah. that was the one that was shut down after <laughs> one show too yeah. highbrow for the low people and too lowbrow for the people who knew what it was <laughs> yeah although I, I think it, they've already done a ballet episode before but just with bart Oh, uh, yeah, yes, yes. I think that's classic, or is that like oh, 11 or 12? But still, it was it was a much better done, I think. Oh, uh, that was season six, but oh, around go. 11 or 12 is where they did the last tap dance in Springfield, Lisa Tapper Tapper Tapper. Right. Yeah. So they have done a Lisa dancing episode. Mm -hmm. When did they do The Bear in the Little Car? <laughs> <laughs> season five. <laughs> ballet. That's ballet? Oh. <laughs> oh, that could have been an accidental playlist, the ballet oh, list. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Next time. Well, Can't intentionally make it accidental. So. Yeah, that's true. So Lisa's smoking storyline. What do you guys think about that? This is weird. Especially when was this? What year was this? Out? 2008. 2008. So nine mm -hmm. years ago. So mm -hmm. well into the no smoking on TV cartoon mm -hmm. role yeah. models. And even though Lisa doesn't technically smoke herself, she's, it's all about smoking and her temptation to do it. Which is, mm -hmm. but, And then again, it was all like last time where the last episode where we talked about the DUI club and those guys were so cool. The reference to that is that it does make you focus and does make you think yeah. there was no uh, opposite side to that. It was just, yeah, yeah. I sh you shouldn't smoke because the Sturgeon general tells you not to. Yeah. And all her <laughs> feminist, all her feminist heroes all smoked as well. Yeah. There wasn't like a, like a counterpoint. Yes. Yeah. They weren't yeah. like, but they all died horrifically of lung cancer when they were 30. Yeah. yeah. Right. And it was like in that moment they were doing a callback to the whole, you know, I still want to ho help you, George Washington. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like that reoccurring bit of Lisa having these. Uh... Actually, I just did say there was no counterpoint, but then they did have like grown up smoke monster Lisa in the dream. Yeah. And she looked 
haggard as yep. hell. Yeah, yeah. She's like droopy eyes and her hair's all like floppy and she's thin and like decrepit looking. And I'm but like, she was eh. also a ghost, so that's yeah. going to add to it a little bit. True. <laughs> and they did have a quick cut of Patty and Selma and I've always felt like they've been a good counterpoint to smoking. Not it's because true. they have cancer or anything, just because they're like mm. really ugly and ha <laughs> ha They're a yeah. bit gross, yeah. yeah. I, I did like Lisa's voice change though when she first inhaled the secondhand smoke. It became a bit more... Uh, Patty Bouvier, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bouvier. yeah, like mate, Yardley but... Smith was doing her best Julie Kavner impression. Yeah, Oof. that's well, a weird again, sentence to yeah. say. <laughs> Has Marge ever smoked, like long term? Because she sounds like that regardless. Oh, yeah. she was having a smoke when she was getting processed in um, the Ruth Powers episode. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. True, yeah. It's right at the end. Yeah, I think yeah. If she's ever smoked, it's been like an aside or a joke yeah, or yeah. something. Mm. Yeah, yeah. and as we know, Homer smoked as well when he was in Flavor Country. <laughs> it's a big country. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they they keep making allusions to smoking, but it's like in a. I know it's supposed to be in like a sarcastic way, but they keep mm. making jokes about how it's bad. But the joke is that the person is promoting it constantly, like all all the time. Like there's the one where like Lisa's said oh we all know where smoke is where flavor lives and it's a hot choice on a cool night and like all this stuff, like doing like ads for it and stuff yeah, yeah. but yeah that was a weird stance for lisa to take uh, yeah but then also at the end you know the obvious like i want to talk about something that's and you think it's yeah, going to be smoking and then it's about ballet mm-hmm. but there's never any kind of like denunciation well, of no smoking i guess kind of apart from at Homer. this point we know so much we've heard it so many yeah, times I we guess. don't need to be told it's be like we know that's when you surely show it instead like you you have the old ballet teacher who's past her prime and you know still smokes a pack a day and she can barely walk and she's 35 or something yeah you gotta show because there was really apart from homer being the voice of reason mm-hmm. um, i thought you'd say that yeah and also marge <laughs> made a really big cake it's a really weird episode yeah, yeah. but there was no downside apart from yeah. homer going don't smoke and lisa going oh no i shouldn't but where am i going to be able to stay thin and keep um Focused. focused. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I smoked for a long time and I was never thin or focused. So, were you, were you, were you dancing? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> to bring it back to Marge and the cake and all that, like, so Homer withholds the information about Lisa um, smoking and everything to not disappoint Marge. But then he does something which sabotages the ballet thing anyway, which is going to disappoint Marge as well. Well, that was more her comeuppance for breaking her promise to not smoke, I suppose. Yeah, and I yeah. don't think Homer knows the intrinsic link between cigarettes and ballet dancers. Because yeah, I, exactly. I certainly didn't until this episode, <laughs> so thank you, Simpsons, for I teaching al- me. I also wonder if it was kind of going to be like, uh, well, all the other girls are going to screw up as well, maybe as well, but then you did say he doesn't you know, recognize he doesn't know that, that it's yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's not going to be everyone, it's just going to be... <laughs> But yeah, it was weird that like it was Lisa having secondhand smoke. Like mm. that first is weird. Like why not have a smoke? You've already got like what I assume is a bunch of twelve year olds around her. That smoking. was another yeah. thing. Like how are these? Where are these twelve year olds getting cigarettes from? And it's purses. easy. It's really easy to get cigarettes in America. <laughs> yeah, sure, and they're like a dollar a pack. Well, especially when they had that that gag where Homer's yeah. going like, "How easy it for? I can't believe how easy it is for a child to get cigarettes in the yeah. country." Where he puts away a gun in his jacket that. He also has four other guns in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there's like an interesting little side yeah. stab. But yeah, I don't think they yeah. didn't really do anything anti smoke on that. And in fact, I wouldn't have been able to know Flavor Country and a hot something on a cool hot night. Choice on yeah. a cool <laughs> I don't know. I would have no idea if you had said, give me two slogans for a cigarette company. I wouldn't yeah. have nothing. But now I've got two. Well, I, I kind of got that from context, though. Yeah, I got that for context. Mm. But if I had said to you before this episode, Ben, quickly give me two uh, slogans for cigarette companies. Uh, it's cool inside and lucky strike. They're toasted. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Which television taught me? <laughs> I guess it's weird for us though as well because in Australia for the last god twenty years, <laughs> I guess it's weird for us though as well because in Australia for the last god twenty years they haven't been able to advertise, mm, and in the last yeah. five years even the packs have to be. Completely, completely brown, brown and, and behind a screen in the shops and everything. And yeah, so- Americans like go look up Australian cigarette packages and then mm. feel bad. <laughs> try to yeah. sleep that night and realize they're thirty five dollars a pack. Oh yeah, that's, that's the right. Worst part. That's like almost standard now, isn't and really, it? Really, yeah. those uh, images are so ubiquitous on those packages that yeah. after you see them once, you never look at them. Like you, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. it's the Dennis Leary bit. Well, absolutely. Give yeah. me a packet of lung cancer. Yeah, absolutely. Because you just go, oh, mm. there was one where they had this guy, photo of this guy who was 
a normal dude and said, this is Brian in at yeah. the age of 32. And then they had a photo of him. This is Brian eight weeks later. And he's actually dead on the photo, apparently. And everyone called a packet of that a packet of dead Brian. Yeah. Aww. Well, she's like, oh, what'd you get? Dead yeah. Brian? Can I have one of your dead Brian's? Yeah, I sure. used to have a woman who came into work and would be like, oh, can I get a pack of such and such? Yeah, yeah, sure. And she's like, oh, can you put the lung cancer back? Just sing me something else. I'm like, well, I got diseased eye. No. Diseased foot. No. Child with cancer. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm like, okay. Everyone just get, and I literally said to her, there's your packet of child cancer. But I think if I was a smoker, I'd just go with the, there's one that's like a toilet bowl. And it's yeah. got like a slight hint of blood yeah. in the in the thing. I'm like, yeah, yeah I'll take that one. That okay. one seems all right. The best one is the one that's just a uh, ultrasound and it says, smoking may harm your baby. Yeah. I'm like, sweet. May. <laughs> Excellent. So you're saying there's a chance. Yeah, say the chance. <laughs> the baby inside of me will make it fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, well, we'll get back to the cigarette story in a bit, but how about Bart and Homer and the jerky and the raccoons? Kind of dumb, kind of cute. I, yeah. I didn't mind it. It was kind of nice. Like, there was just the little things like Bart saying to Homer, I really like marinating with you. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. it wasn't a joke. It was just a, well, yeah. it's kind of nice. A little tender kinda moment sweet. around yeah. marinating. Hey, <laughs> it was tender. weird. Oh, wait, jerky's not tender. <laughs> um, but. Unfortunately, I think it was just way too rushed. Like, within yeah. that first scene, but I'm showing you this thing. Here, I do enjoy one. doing this thing with yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Next yeah, scene, a poo. We're going to make a sales pitch. Oh, my God, yeah. our stock. I think I, I do. do just really like uh, any Homer Bart caper is always fun. Yeah, yeah. I like that to sell beef jerky, they went to the Hindu yeah. <laughs> to try it. Well, he runs the only shop they know. Yeah, I know. I know. And um, he does sell lots of jerky in the quickie yeah. mart. And he even, you know, penned the screenplay, hands off my jerky, jerky turkey. turkey. Oh, this is true. <laughs> it could have been turkey jerky. Oh, ah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hindu jerky. Oh, there, I, I, the one bit I didn't like was the, have you ever wondered what's in, what I do in this room? And he's like, Bart's like, Gay out? Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, okay. That's weird. Yeah, that's not mm. cool. That was like, was that your best line that you could come up with for that? And you imagine the writers being like, hey guys, gay out. And oh. I was, oh my God, Brian, you're the best. <laughs> also, I this imagine... This is definitely not going to be uncool in a few years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like in I, I, It was 2008, 1974. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But also... It, Jerky was the last thing I was expecting to be behind there. I would have yeah. thought when I opened the door to start with, I thought he was running counterfeit bills. Mm. <laughs> but I was hoping he was making a robot. I was mm. thinking he was like homebrew, but then like, wait, we've done that. So yeah. Yeah. Just, turns out, yeah, the beer baron he was amazing at. They should have just <laughs> you should have brought that back. Why I'm really need... looking forward to that episode. Yeah, because you make a good point because then like why does he need to hide it? Yeah. Don't know. Why is he trying to sell it? He could just eat it. Yeah. For whatever reason that this episode didn't have a lot of confidence in that story and mm. it just shot through that whole thing without giving it a lot yeah. of grounding. Just, also, yeah, I thought it was cute. And my contentious fun. position with that story is going to be that I didn't like the way the raccoons looked. Oh, the real on the nose character model. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they, yeah. they looked like way too cartoony, way too Simpsons y. It was. Ridiculous. I, the one thing I did like about it was that when they were like, oh, they're like us. Look, there's a little heart of Homer. And, a, and then Lisa was yeah. eating an acorn instead <laughs> yeah, of the jerky. Instead of the jerky. <laughs> I like that as well. <laughs> I didn't actually even notice that. That's good. And to bring it back to strangling as well, Homer goes, oh, I like his parenting style. And yeah, the rat- raccoon strangling the other one. <laughs> yeah, immediately yeah. after the strangling fiasco episode. Yeah. But they rush to that resolution of the raccoon storyline, like within the, again, this was another four act one. So within the third act and you thought, oh, why are they done with it so quickly? Mm. That was like four scenes, but they did manage to tie it into the yeah. story at the end, which I, I kind like of, that. it's a little bit wacky, but I, I could see it. Cause like, he was like, oh, I feel bad. Give them some more jerky. And then they, I can imagine them kind of being like trained and yeah. being like, yeah, I'll do you a favor too. Even though it is again, like a kind of a human. I, w- I want yeah. to know more about the sto- story of when Homer battled the worms and lost so hard <laughs> yeah. that they made him make a statue of him bowing down towards the golden I do really worm. like his line of, when you cut them in half, they just two grow back. How do I compete with that? <laughs> uh, or the, it wasn't a defeat. It was a, oh God. What yeah. Tactical withdrawal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the story. Oh, I know. A see. phased withdrawal. Phased That's right. Phased withdrawal. <laughs> He fights a lot of animals, but it's usually quite hilarious. I, I like how Bart actually alludes to that yeah. as well. It's like yeah. you never had like won a battle with an animal. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. thinking about the beavers on the Dude Ranch episode. Yep. And, yeah, Stampy. Yeah. And when he is uh, fighting the raccoons, you know, does the whole, uh oh, I put sleeping. I ate the one without yeah. sleeping. Pills. That was actually probably Too my mo- most disliked scene in that whole thing. Because yeah. then he's 
he's drowsy. He's like, oh, I've got a crossbow, but then nothing really happened with the crossbow. Yeah, he what sh- did he shoot it at? I can't yeah, remember. so and it's the whole thing, you know. He almost he almost shoots Rod Flanders. He almost shoots Bart. Yeah. Almost shoots the gas truck. And then, Which wouldn't yeah, have done anything anyway. Sees the archery target. <laughs> I like his little, oh! Like, this is what yeah. I'm meant to be aiming for. But then, yeah, the archery truck crashes and then the arrows just nothing. But Eric, it looks like he shoot. Yeah. He like kind of misses and shoots into the air. Yeah. yeah. But the archery truck sort of goes, no! And then yeah. crashes into yeah. a tree. It was I see the archery truck driver bad. is very observant of what's going on down the sides of houses <laughs> you that he's be. driving past. Yeah. When, you, when like, you drive a truck with three targets on it, you you probably are very I think you'd be probably safe because the, all the targets are behind you. Yeah, but still, yeah. people are still aiming at them. You know what? I think the funnier joke would be for him to not freak out and just sort of see it and go, again, I've got to talk to the boss about oh, this advertising. Well, it's a living. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of those ones. Or just like score him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I mean, you got to so lead zero. a bit to the left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He also like, you got to lead ahead, bozo. <laughs> Adjust for wind. And then one lands into the door and he goes, no, too much. (laughs) So play count. How many times do you think you've seen this episode? Nothing after season 12 is going to get a one. So (laughs) zero. (laughs) I haven't seen it before, apart from the beginning of the episode where they're lining up for the faux Harry Potter bit. Angelica Button. Yeah. yeah, Yeah. And and she schools um, comic comic book guy. guy. I've not seen this episode, but I've definitely seen that scene. I don't Hmm. know. How or why? No, it was an interesting scene. We'll get back to that. Um, uh, I've probably seen it about twice before. Yeah, I've seen this a few times. I actually brought this one in thinking it was a silver or something. And I don't know that hype. <laughs> well, I was kind of silverish when we started talking and I've probably slipped since then. But, yeah. uh, I was, I, I, for the most part, I did quite enjoy this until, yeah. Spoilers, until Ben. But yeah, just back to the Angelica Button uh, bit. Yeah, what would you guys think of that opening? Do you think they would have planned ahead? Like Bart would know. I mean, that was very exposition-y at the start. Like, yeah. we're, it's, yeah. it's we're midnight in release and yeah. we're going to the thing. Like, you would have talked about that at yeah. dinner. And if, I imagine if Bart, if no one else in the family is in bed before midnight because they're going to a thing, there's no way Bart's asleep and in bed if yeah. everyone else is going to do or something. And yeah. then they force him to go. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, do you want to go? He's like, no, I'm asleep. They're like, fine. You can stay here and be asleep. It's the only time you're not getting in trouble. Yeah. And yeah, on the ride home, he was actually genuinely enjoying when Lisa was reading yeah. the story. I do like the bit where Lisa just reads it, tells them all what happens. They all immediately throw their copies away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they sink into the ground. Yeah, that was a bit weird. But Is I do like the point heavy? of... I thought that was a comment on how fucking big the Harry yeah. Potter Potter books got towards the end. What about the Harry Potter books? <laughs> Harry Potter. Yeah. yeah, that's what we call it in Australia. Good old Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Tree of Life. <laughs> Maybe Harry Potter and the Goon Sack. Yeah. yeah. Goon of Misfortune. <laughs> and the Philosopher's Stone and Wood. <laughs> oh, Ooh, oh, damn. That's well, itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the whole school and comic book guy bit I really did like, actually. Yeah, I mean, I'm someone who also enjoys making fun of Harry Potter. So, to see that happen was fun. <laughs> Audible gasp. You, you've read uh, Working Class Wizards, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It's not from a, uh, no. making fun of it in a malicious way. No, no. I, 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 no, I, I get it. It's, it's yeah. Coming um, soon to Pulp Fury Radio, Working Class Wizards, a parody series of wizards. Uh, nothing <laughs> nothing to do with the property owned no. by Universal. <laughs> a parody of wizards. <laughs> Just all wizards. all wizards in anything. Ever. Call themselves wizards for some reason. <laughs> um, that would be like your outback wizards. Yeah, yeah. wizards, wizards. Um, I did like the collection of people that were lining up for uh, yeah. the like the Skinner in a full centaur yeah. costume. But weirdly, I kind of see that as working. Yeah, be like children are reading this maybe i'll read it oh mark i'm actually addicted now but he was like oh no spoilers no spoilers yeah <laughs> i mean it was very all inconsequential to the whole thing like i don't they didn't no. really need to go out because they only just come back home again like yeah they came home watch tv and that's when the episode actually started so yeah. but it was some fun yeah uh, had some laughs killed <laughs> some time oh, i love when they come back to t- turn the tv on the first thing is a uh, newsreader saying, and the first lady has decided she will just sit on the egg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, Until it is, is, is that like a really fast stab at the president being a lizard? <laughs> is that reptile people coming coming out of through it, the media? Did you say Confirmed. it's 2008? Yeah. yeah well, feel- so that would have been just the cutover, maybe. So maybe it was like a last stab at Bush before he left office. I just, I just think it's like uh, reports so absurd you cannot possibly figure out what was going on before you turned on the TV. Yeah. I was just yeah. like, 
It seems odd. Maybe yeah. the world is made of reptiles. They they <laughs> nailed that CSI Miami parody though. Oh, yes. oh like, yeah, they absolutely killed it with the shitty pun, and then yep. they're putting on the glasses and, and then they're yelling. It. How did he manage to kill her if he was two thousand miles away making a phone call? Or maybe he reached out and killed somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was great. Um, ultimately, did this feel like an episode of The Simpsons? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading my notes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? Um, when Marge is going through her box of shattered dreams and she's going, oh, I see, I could have been a dancer until my breasts came in. They, they put me off balance. And she's like, oh, is that going to happen to me? And she goes, no, don't worry. You'll get your father's boobs. Yeah. <laughs> I did like that bit. Made me kind of gross. So just before we move on, I do really want to bring up the joke where there's the ballet school says no fat chicks and then opera school, no thin chicks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, that felt like a good Simpsons background joke. Yeah. So yeah, ultimately, did it feel like an episode of The Simpsons? I, yeah. I think more so. I don't yeah. think anyone was off point at all. I mean, Lisa doesn't want to get into smoking, but she does just by kind of accident. And I like how they go from her just inhaling secondhand to actually reaching for a cigarette for the first time because it's windy and she can't get any secondhand smoke. Yeah. And it feels like a natural escalation. So yeah, I'm on board with that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that Lisa would have been morally... Morally, morally objected but, to it yeah. like much more stringently than I she do agree was. that it's kind of weird it immediately affects her incredibly positively yes mm. yeah. um, but I feel like it makes sense I think I, everything else made sense I think Lisa was just a little bit not as strict as she normally is no but I think yeah. I'm trying to figure out whether her motivation was I want to keep mum happy or you know I'm, I'm kind of good at something and I want to keep it, going it, it felt or... a little bit more I'm actually good at this yeah because yeah. the tap dancing she keeps up because the parents are proud but, I, uh, and also I feel Marge is definitely the type to get kind of suck it in and vicariously really obsessive yeah. about kind of something like yeah, that. They, they kind of built it with a yeah. Shattered Dreams box in a disappointment closet. <laughs> yeah, they were there were a few scenes that touched on it, but ultimately like, they, they really didn't dig hard into it and there was a lot more room to go. Um, you could and, have cut uh, some of the Angelica Button stuff and, and flesh that story out. Yeah. yeah, and that's one thing that I keep coming back to with these like uh, newer episodes is like their time management. How are they spending time on each bit? Mm. And, like the scene with Lisa and Marge in the car. First of all, they spend so much time hanging on those bumper stickers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that. It was like five seconds or something. I was like, have you read both of them yet? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to move on in three... Two, yeah, one. <laughs> they weren't even like a, a joke, no. like a really funny joke. No, like they, my were, they were ballet. really good bumper stickers because they were not funny but made you go, uh, yeah. Like what was one of them was uh, dancing mums do it in the wings. Yeah, and yeah. Like what is that? Is it <laughs> still mean? sex? Yeah, it's always it is always <laughs> sex. Yes. Yeah, because they're also but angels in and the you wings. Can is that do them in the wings? Yeah. Is that yeah. the mom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> feathery? <laughs> oh. <Yeah. laughs> Jordan, stop talking for a while. Okay. I mean, he's seen all do. the porn on the internet. What is he meant to do with that knowledge, <laughs> yeah. man? He, he managed True. to outgross me. It reminds me, actually, I went back and watched some old Three Stooges a few years ago, and there was this one where they did a joke where they were looking on a map, and it was like, ha-ha, oh, oh, there's a bunch of funny country names. I won't have time to read them all. Oh, wait, yes, I will. <laughs> they're, wait, they're still hanging on this shot. <laughs> and I went back and timed it. They hung on that shot for a minute. What? <laughs> no oh, I way. think the DVD broke. No. <laughs> were you, how stoned were you? I was watching Three Stooges, man. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, nine? <laughs> I was ten, guy. <laughs> okay. Sorry, we did have the good line of... Um, Marge is just like, oh, yes, Marge, my little dancer, Lisa, mom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Lisa, the little dancing Marge girl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that was, was actually one of the best lines I think I've heard Marge say for a very long time. Yeah, it was good. I like that one. Yeah, there was some great wordplay in this uh, episode. And oh, yeah. Again, from Chad Busby as well. Uh, the other, the uh, Pooh's wordplay of, you have just made a very powerless enemy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all want to use that in the yeah. not too distant Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Uh, let's talk about the wackiness of this episode. Okay, yeah, a family of raccoons that look like yeah. The Simpsons. Yeah. Uh, so, hi, the wacky. Yeah, a cigarette addicted little girls try and smoke their own fingers as cigarettes. Yeah. Oh, hair. that whole yeah. breakdown scene at yeah, the end. Yeah, so that was too much for me. That was 
Yeah. yeah. There was a, it kind of Some a, of them were okay. Like the one where she sees there's the no smoking sign and tries smoking it. That was fine. But then there yeah. was the one where like, maybe there's gum under the seats and they all try to get on their hands and knees and What's try that? and chew the gum. But yeah. they're like between the, all the people's legs. And I was yeah. like, this is really creepy yeah. actually. Yeah. 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 Stop. It, it looks like a bunch of puppies suckling at their, for oh. their, at their mother. No, like, it's worse now. <laughs> <laughs> but it was. Well, well, you just think you put a ballerinas. So, wing fucking now your it's, cool wing. No, now it's <laughs> puppies. Like, yeah, now it's, no, but now it's, it's like, Lion, man. Some kind of like bestiality now, and I'm like, God yeah. damn it! Are puppies your horses, and you hate them? Is that I what it is? No, I love puppies. <laughs> well, I don't want to you... see them besmirch. <laughs> well, yeah. is, that, is that what you call it? The smirch. <laughs> It's like the, the porn parody you know of the what? purge. I never, <laughs> I never had a good name for my penis, but now I do. The smirch. The smirch. Okay. Yeah, are you ready to be smirched, young lady? <laughs> Sorry, the porn parody of the purge. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm writing it as we speak. Don't worry. <laughs> um, yeah, so all the wacky parts of the episode. Um, yeah, doing the running to steal cigarettes, although I did like it when like the raccoon misunderstands and then he grabs the wallet with the cash and I was like, uh, yeah, that one too. Yeah. <laughs> There's a girl when when Lisa is horrible at ballet first and she knocks her over her leg is like rubber because it wraps around her neck. Oh, uh, yeah. Very yeah. wacky. Yep. Oh, man, when Marge gets the, her leg locks, oh, God, I felt so yeah, bad ooh. for her. Then. Oh, he just that cramping up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not really wacky, but I wanted to reference it for the reference that it is when uh, Bart's hiding in the basket of leg warmers oh, and kind man. of rises oh, up yeah. in uh, uh, Apocalypse, Apocalypse Now, now yeah. style. Yeah. Yeah. Even with the doors playing in the background. Yeah. yeah. It, it, the, like, even the same like song, yeah. like yeah. The, yeah. End. the end. Yeah. No, oh, that was so good. And then, yeah, just the little flip of the phone and then bam, comes a large answer in the like, phone. Yeah, I like the, the, the parallel of him just using a phone instead of any kind yeah. of... Like a machete. Yeah. Is it a machete? Yeah, yeah it's a machete yeah. in Apocalypse Now. Yeah. Yeah. So good. No, that, uh, again, one of those Simpsons parodies that they just nailed it to a T and just got mm-hmm. the shot exactly perfectly. I assume I haven't seen that movie. I was going to say, like, well, <laughs> I know you, you were bit. talking the other day about um, movie club watching stuff we haven't seen. We need. I have Apocalypse now. I'll watch it. I just want to say, speaking of references, something we didn't pick up in the first one is there's a Saving Private Ryan reference when he's what? shooting the thing. The rituals that he does before he shoots the thing uh, is a Saving Private Ryan thing, where he like he kisses a rosary and he puts the gum right. on the on the gun and then he shoots. I guess I just, I just uh, took that right. to be like things from many movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like a black mark under your eye and a skull oh, on your yeah. cheek. Yeah, no. I thought that went out too long, but I liked when he pulled out one of his hairs to adjust for wind. Like, <laughs> yeah. That was pretty funny. Yeah. But that wasn't no. this episode. That no, was this right. episode. Um, Fuck that episode. So, but Stupid. in this episode, the heart. So yeah, the raccoons, as dumb as it was, was very it was cute. cute. I, I did like Homer is torn because he's very disappointed in Lisa mm. and, you know, with her smoking but he can't disappoint Marge because yeah. she is so happy and it, she says so... <laughs> openly i'm the happy i think this is the happiest i've ever been like you know all this stuff yeah, yeah. he's like oh i know he doesn't know what to do and he says like fatherhood it's hard and i yeah i, I kind of felt a little bit there. Maggie, maggie's wrestling bot you're on your own yeah. <laughs> owning bot yeah yeah a lot of strangling in these episodes at the moment <laughs> yeah there is a lot of strangling yeah um, yeah i found that to be it was very on the nose kind of this is exactly why you, you can and can't have make this choice mm. now i still think it was it all still felt of a, a little consequence and it wasn't like lisa herself was getting comeuppance at the end no and it's not even like the ballet teacher got any comeuppance for facilitating this he's just like hey, i quit and then he does that like weird tilt cat walk out of there yeah. what's that yeah like a, like like a kind of a single jazz, jazz, hand jazz walk. stripe well, yeah. to our uh, broadway or given the, the parallel import of broadway the um, exposition that the raccoon gave us by is taking things out of the little girl's handbag mm-hmm. yeah she had a packet of cigarettes car keys and a wad of money they could how have all old been are, ones though how old are these children i thought they were young because they had the teenage voice yeah but they were not like yeah. old enough, surely, or maybe they'd been smoking for so long that it stunted their growth and they just looked twelve. Uh, yeah, they're actually uh, forty two. Uh, <laughs> See, that would have been oh, a good little comeuppance. The too. gymnastics one, yeah, where Lisa takes up gymnastics and meets a bunch of kids that she thinks are kids, but it turns out they're actually college students, but they're just small because they're gymnasts. Yeah. yeah, they say it again at the end of this. It's like I want to talk about ballet. It's it stunts your growth and yeah. it it makes you. And it like, also oh, says it's targeted these... at children. Yeah. So. Who so, knows? Who knows? How old are you? Maybe that's how they got around censors saying you can't show kids 
smoking like and enjoying it and getting things out of it well yeah that's it and i think that's where they drew the line at lisa but they left the age of these girls a little ambiguous so that they could get away with it if they wanted to Hmm. yes or no do you think you'll watch this one again i would watch it more readily than the last one yeah i think yeah yeah Yeah. if it was on i'd probably just keep it on yeah i wouldn't hunt it down unless they promise to include the battle of the the worms (laughs) (laughs) in the special extended edition yeah yeah. just the uh yeah apocalypse now redux version yeah Yeah. Yeah. 42 minutes of homer battling worms and losing yeah i would but i wouldn't seek it out you know if it pops on i'm sticking around no this is one that sort of if it came up in a marathon i half pay attention to it maybe this is the one where i'm pulling out my phone and thank god you said phone i'm pretty sure he said that exact line last episode you said pulling out something like thank god he said phone <laughs> and i just my pull bone. out my big black iphone oh, 6 plus actually sorry <laughs> speaking of pulling out a bone we know that his bone can't come out right so oh yeah Mel. it's stuck in yeah. with gum <laughs> yeah and yet she just Pulls it out with right ease. Out. It, all it yeah, took was the strength of a need for cigarettes. Yeah, exactly. That was so spelling it out. Oh, I wish she went to smoke it instead. Um, but she goes, oh, my appetite, it's coming back. I'm going to pull yeah. the bone out yeah. of that guy's head. I'm going to eat yeah. a bone because that's obviously got a lot of food on it. Yeah, delicious. I mean, it's a whole thing. They could have been serving popcorn and that could have been a funny yeah. bit with their all their appetites return and they're stealing all the concession snacks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they could have gone full gremlins on it. Or <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd have been good. Yeah. Damn, no. we wrote a better episode. I have to let Mark this lower now. <laughs> so, yeah, we might watch it again. What playlist does it belong in? Uh, like Lisa extracurric- extracurricular activities. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like uh, her homer jobs. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Her extracurricular studies. That's a hard word to say. And extracurricular. Not enough yeah. prancing. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> some, some mincing would be nice. Yeah. I'm going to say some. put it into the illicit substances. Mm, oh yeah do this with the homer pot episode and yeah. um home of the animals as well is yeah homer versus pretty... the animals <laughs> there wasn't much versing though they got along no, pretty quickly like, very yeah. quickly but yeah we went places so uh, like but put it in with helper animals like mojo oh yeah <gasps> yeah, yeah. <gasps> mojo <laughs> or laddie yeah yeah, yeah oh that'd be a great playlist yeah, yeah. bt any other thoughts about this episode uh i do like the lion well, because you cared enough to pre- about me to peer pressure me, well, I'll, I'll say yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I did like that. What else we got? Oh, I got a couple of anal corners if you want to yeah. take it first, and I just want to see if I, we had the same ones. Uh, wait, wait, it's wait, an wait. anal corner battle. Just yeah. because I'm sitting between you two, <laughs> what are anal corners? Uh, oh, sorry. It's uh, his specific segment of, like, <laughs> anally retentive Okay, issues. observations, and yeah. scored Jordan's anal corner. Yeah, I, it's always stuff that is just, like, like, completely... and. Running joke is, Beach will always say, a wizard did it. And I'll be like, <laughs> fuck, fuck you. you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing we have. All right, All right so BT, that. what's your first anal retentive observation? Uh, the door where they have the jerky moves. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah at first it's um, on the wall to, I don't know, we'll call it under north, the and then later on it's under the stairs to yeah. the west. So, yeah. Sorry, Actually, east, just east. while we're there, in that bit, that whole PowerPoint presentation was so laboured. Yeah, it tacked on right. Oh, yeah. End. What was the K and the Y? Yeah, what was the K and the Y? I didn't uh, see it. I didn't read it closely yeah. enough. I it just like, assumed. Jay, just the product for you. Uh, Jordan, what's your anal uh, corner? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, definitely need a bit of anal. I got another this. one if you want to take it. Yeah, some no, time. You, go, you go first. Two uh, anal corners. It's yeah. the Oval <laughs> Office of Anuses. Uh Homer, okay, he, he s- grabs the cigarette out of Lisa's hands, throws it down, stumps it up with his foot, shoots the ground, but the ground doesn't get any bullet holes. Yeah, this is true. Oh, bulletproof ground. Bulletproof Jordan. cigarette. I think we've talked, <laughs> about, oh, yeah. we've talked about mine. No, God, I've lost. I've got nothing. All right, here's, That's all right. Here's why I'm making up a new corner. It's not anal corner. It's a pointless corner. Oh, okay. <laughs> when the ballet teacher sashays out of the studio and down the street onto a bus, mm-hmm. yeah. why do we need to see him get on the bus and sashay down the corridor for three steps? No. Yeah, he should have just had... been on the bus, doors closed, bus yeah. locks off. I, you can maybe see him in the window or something. I yeah. liked getting on the bus because it was on the beat and the doors opened and he was like perfectly timed to get in and then the bus was doors closed and yeah. I thought that's where it could have ended yep. I would have been okay with it you didn't need to go to inside the bus no. and then see more walking in the same way no no, and it it made me feel nothing whereas that should have been the scene where he has some comeuppance for being complacent to this whole smoking thing or just yeah. been funny because he's a hilarious character yeah, yeah. 
Oh, imagine if he was getting chased down and he was prancing away <laughs> and then they caught up to him and just beat him up anyway. That would be kind of funny. He got chased down by a bunch of deers. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, don't normally mention the couch gag, but this was really stylistically awesome where they did a whole Wile E. Coyote painting, yeah. the fake couch in the background thing. Yeah, they all run into it, slide off, then they all jump onto it except Homer who crashes through. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, pretty good. Cool. Was, and then like Maggie it. is the roadrunner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that worked well because of her dummy going in and out of her mouth. Sorry, pacifier oh, for Americans. That was good. That was good sound. You, you did the sound effect pretty well. Yeah. Uh, there was a weird abortion joke in there. There was. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't think that everyone else went, whoa, when that came out. I was like, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Like, if I'm not saying it wasn't, you know, accurate. <laughs> yeah. It's like, this not, no, it's not that breed. It's got dark real quick. That was all. <laughs> it, yeah, we went from adorable raccoons stealing cigarettes to... God, I could really use a cigarette right now. Thank you. Wait, my girlfriend is pregnant. God, another one? Yeah. yeah. Maybe the tonal shift was very Yeah, strong. I just wish the joke was just them looking exhausted after boning and then going, oh, man, you know what would be great right now? And then, boom, cigarettes fall. And she, he's like, ah, oh, yay. <laughs> he's like, I came again. <laughs> um, yeah, they just dragged it out too long for my liking. Mm. Any other notes about the episode, Phil? I have one line gag where the she says, you know, all dancers smoke. That's why they're called dancer sticks. And yeah. she's like, isn't that cancer sticks? And then she just sticks the cigarettes into her ears. And she's just like, la, 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 la. I and can't dare she, you. That's right. <laughs> I don't dare you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty funny, I thought. The, um, the, the other kind of quick line I liked was but he said uh, something about last time I checked this wasn't worldwide wrestling and I checked five minutes ago <laughs> yeah <laughs> I think I'm definitely going to add that to my if I whenever I say the last time I checked something 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 yeah, yeah. 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 I might have to do <laughs> and I wrestling. already checked it <laughs> already um, as a former smoker I liked the joke of uh, oh my god uh, when do we get to have a break when the big cigarette hits nine yeah because <laughs> yeah, yeah if you if you've been a smoker you know that you know exactly what time it is all the time yeah you're like can I go uh, I've only just come back another 15 minutes is it 15 minutes yet damn it another 14 and a half minutes is it yeah. 15 minutes damn it yeah. <laughs> like that was a huge part of my identity and I haven't had one for over a year and a half now like, yeah which is very good, yes. Yeah. And you weren't really a smoker, were you? No, no. only ever socially or drunk. Jordan? No, I'm not really. I occasional like cigar because I'm classy like that. <laughs> yeah, uh, just cla- yeah. Yeah. Nothing says class like a big brown cylindrical object propped Actually, in your lips. Also, covered in saliva on one end mm, and fire on the other. Fire on the other. <laughs> it's just like a prostitute. You had that pipe for a while then. Oh, yeah, I do. That was pipe as well. delicious tobacco that you had. Oh, yeah. That. And Phil, you were a smoker as well? Yeah, for like going kind of about... 15 years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, similar. And how long have you been off now? Uh, just under three. Yeah? Oh, nice oh. one. Yeah, it's pretty good. My, Me and my trusty vaporizer are two of the world successfully. Yep. <laughs> oh, gotta love vapor technology. Tells yes. I can smoke this in the movie theater. <laughs> Has anyone seen Lady Dynamite yet? No. no. Nope. <laughs> Mary Bamford show? No. no. I know about it. Is it, sound, no. it sounds like a sequel to Lady the Tramp. Or uh, Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> What? <laughs> anyway, when the raccoon is sneaking through, stealing all the cigarettes, they do a slight little hint at the Pink Panther music. Yeah, they do, mm. didn't they? Well, yeah. they almost play George Benson's Broadway, but it's slightly different at the end. Oh, yeah. I really didn't like Homer and Bart's whole Mexican wrestler thing. That was like a really weak. Oh, uh, really weak. Because I had written down odd ending, but then I yeah. couldn't remember what it was. Yeah. Now, yeah. <laughs> preen for the audience is like, yeah, make them great. hate you. Yeah. yeah. I do like his line you feed on their hatred and you are starving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the rest of it was just like, what? why is this happening? That would have been an excellent, way better thing to have than, in my opinion, than Beef Jerky Gate. <laughs> but becomes a Mexican wrestler. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, there you go, because they've got this thing where they're both doing physical sports and you could draw a mm. lot more parallels with that. Yeah. All right, well, I'm getting thirsty for another beer, so it must be time to rank this thing. <clears throat> BT, kick it off. I was at a silver. I'm just trying to think if I've dipped low enough to down to a bronze. But I got some good laughs out of this, and I thought, you know, it plots a bit bit out there, but still cohesive, still makes its own kind of sense. I'm gonna I'm gonna say the word silver and see how that sits for a little bit. Okay, silver. Uh, Jordan. Silver. Yeah, I too am stuck between bronze and silver. Phil, are you settled? Do you know? Yeah. Okay, you go. I'm gonna go a shiny bronze. 
<laughs> All right. One bronze. Why? Uh, it felt like it was good, but not great. And that's the end of it. <laughs> yep. All right. Um, fuck. Participant. I, I don't have bronze in me. I really, really? don't. Wow. I just don't. I really don't. It, again, I was trying to say bronze in my head, not mm. out loud, not whispering it. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> you got to say it out loud and see how it feels, because sometimes the heart guts know. Again, like the other episode, this is almost a bronze. And I came bringing this one thinking, like, because I've just got this little algorithm to decide which episodes to watch. And this week it dictated we watched, like, a semi-good season 19 one. Yeah, and- like a <laughs> and this just fell so short of the silver for me. <laughs> like, it's a participant, but barely. Like, it is a shiny participant for me. Jordan. Okay, yeah. I'm going to give it a bronze. I'm going to give it yeah, a bronze. Yeah, because, kind of bronze yeah. I, yeah, I'm thinking about it. There, there were a few things that kind of annoyed me. It was a bit silly, but that wasn't my problem. It was just the, kind of the rest of it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's bronze, bronze category. Yeah, All right. I'm kind of feeling like I need to shift it because I'm thinking about the things I liked. In the long term on this one, I might shift down. Hound, let me, let me, let me sit with it. <laughs> bronze. Bronze. Yeah, bronze is a gong sound, isn't it? Yeah. Bronze. Well, interestingly enough, the other episodes that we've had that have been silver bronze bronze participant have mm. been a totally fun thing that Bart will never do again, the cruise ship and so the Antarctica. So I like Antarctica. this one a lot more than that one, so... Yep, and also, uh, dude, where's my ranch? Uh, and that's about equal. I feel actually, dude, where's my ranch is probably a little bit better. Um, and Ooh. then so it's almost the perfect that, placement. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna stick with silver. All right. Well, yeah, that will be a silver. That'll be averaged out into a bronze. Joining such episodes, as we said, dude, where's my ranch? Totally fun thing, but we'll never do again. Squirt in the wild, chief of hearts. All right, so that about does it for this episode. And now coming up next, we are going to do Sweet Home Diddly Dum Doodly. And we are back and we just watched season seven, episode three, Home Sweet Home Diddly Dum Doodly. It was written by John Vitti and it was first released in October of 1995. In this episode, in a series of events that makes the Simpson family look like they're living in a squalid hellhole, the mm. children get taken away by child welfare and put into the foster care of the Flanderses. What? <laughs> And throughout the rest of the episode, Homer and Marge have to prove to the county that they are fit parents. And guys, what did you think? Smashing, smashing. I loved it. Yep. Quite good. It's, it's a lovely, lovely, mm. lovely ride. Yeah, this was definitely the more heartfelt episode, but oh, yeah. mm. man, what a cracker. Uh, so many cracker jokes. Oh, I remember remember watching this when it first came out in 95. Yeah. And I'd written down jokes 10 minutes before they were even due yeah. to come because I'd still remembered it. Yeah. I remember where the last were. Remember the the good times and yeah. the uh, softer emotional times. It's, it's definitely it's... an episode where you're like, oh, well, this is where this comes from. I love this line. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was, yeah. Well, I didn't even know it was called whatever the hell it's called, um de yodly yodly. <laughs> And I was like, oh, another episode I've never heard of. And then within about a minute, like, yes! <laughs> yeah, totally. And it does a really good job of setting up the storyline. And yeah, through the series of uh, unfortunate events that mm-hmm. makes... Yeah, the home looked terrible. And and I love it because all the way, everyone is still true to character. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It really gives you a perspective on how hard Marge must mm, work yeah. every day to make that <laughs> house look even a little bit tidy because she just doesn't do the chores for one day and the house is a complete yeah. mess. Mm. And you just think, Jesus, she must be... Or how messy the Simpson family is yep. to make that kind of pigsty... Just in the morning, they wake up and yeah. it's just like that. And Absolutely. 20-year-old papers from the dump. The hobos were surprisingly helpful. Yeah. <laughs> Apart that, from this one guy. Yeah. That joke went dark, didn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah had mental problems. <laughs> yeah. But Marge was a complete breakfast ninja then. Oh, she's, yeah. like, <laughs> she's amazing. She had everything... Oh, well, I mean, speaking yeah, of ninja, Maggie is more the breakfast ninja. Karate <laughs> <laughs> yeah. chops it. <laughs> toast oven in toast. half. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she had everything. Like, it was like, it reminded me of uh, like the Wallace and Gromit where he's got like the breakfast <laughs> like, yeah, thing, yeah. like all set uh, up and everything. All my it. fantasies involved <laughs> elaborate Rube Goldberg breakfast <laughs> shows. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just the way she spun the sandwiches as well. And then oh, she's yeah. doting over Bart and Lisa. Like, yeah, really set up that she works hard, 
Homer got this chance to have get them a day off, mm. and she deserved it. I actually really like that of Homer. He's like found a way to scam something nice to do for Marge, so it's yeah. weird, weirdly sweet. Yeah. Uh, and I love, <laughs> love, love the line, what advantage does this automobile have over, say, a train, which yeah. I could also afford. Well, you'll notice the foot pedal warms up to warm your feet, plus the... <laughs> Gently massage your buttocks. <laughs> so, Count Hummer, what do you think? <laughs> That's such a good line. Throw away, this is where you got these tickets. But the whole thing, the whole oh, yeah. bit is ridiculously yeah. funny. Yeah, and that he had them in his pocket ready to go. Yeah. No, we shan't. Yeah. And I will always vote for Homer in a monocle every time. <laughs> yeah. oh, Count Homer is an awesome character. Yeah. Yeah. And I do really love the line just for that of, Marge, there's a spider near my keys. <laughs> what? It's just his face when he's watching a shoe at a while. Yeah. <laughs> Is the the, the payoff that's the payoff to the even better bit where it's like now like you mom you mother us too much as well yeah. enjoy it now because you won't get it when you're older <laughs> like, and then Homer immediately is there like oh, help <laughs> just his look his look of like as Bev was saying just gleeful enjoyment of watching Mars yeah. take care of the spider he's just like <laughs> yeah to a new spider yeah. yeah and the story just moved along in such logical ways as well where yeah the kids just both had unfortunate events uh, unfortunate days at school mm-hmm. that led them to coming home looking like a couple of uh, oh yeah uh, neglectorinos neglectorinos of course oh, yeah I, I just love at the beginning when they're sending the kids off to school but in the kitchen trying to eat breakfast and he's already wearing the Dracula teeth for school day <laughs> yeah like yeah. it's not occurred to him to put them in just before the photo he's like right I'm up Dracula teeth are in we're good to go this and is like, what we're doing today and the, he thought that no they told us to wear them <laughs> yeah. wouldn't actually work yeah. would actually work yeah. no they did not yeah. um, I thought it was weird uh, that it was school picture day just for Bart not for Lisa Mm. Well, they usually do them in years sometimes. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. It's usually the same kind. America, of. everything's different. America. Yeah. His whole class, his whole grade has eight people in it, and yeah, seven sure. of them we've never seen before. Yeah. One thing I noticed in this viewing, yeah, almost had an A and a B story with this episode where it was, sort of, it was... It was either Marge and Homer or Bart and Lisa. And mm. I thought that it was interesting how throughout this whole story we were following both of them in two lines but doing different things. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely A and B. They're just opposite sides of the same conflict. Mm. Yeah. You know, they're struggling with the effect. They're both struggling with the effects of having the kids removed from them. And it's trying to better yourself so you can get them back or survive long enough in the weird household so that you can go <laughs> yeah. back, back home. There's a, you know, emotional moment where they left the, the Flanders printing press newspaper, yeah. the Flanders Times, <laughs> on yeah. the doorstep. And because it's great, because it's like, it hits you for two, because like, they pick it up and it's like, he reads it and says, extra, extra, Todd smells. <laughs> and I was oh, like, oh, I already oh, knew, I already knew <laughs> that. And they turn it over. It's like, oh, Simpsons kids miss mum and dad. And so they have a little laugh. And then you're like, oh. Yeah. Because yeah, it was, it was really... you, could, you could see like the, they were mirroring each other. Like, you know, Marge and Homer were walking around to their empty bedrooms, mm-hmm. kind of going, oh, it's yeah, so empty yeah. when they're not here. Yeah. At the same time as like Maud and, and Ned are kind of tucking them into bed in their yeah. bedroom in, in the other house. And it, yeah. kind of, it was a good kind of juxtaposition as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, it's really interesting how they do the, uh, that. Yeah, they follow the themes between the two different storylines. Two different sides of the same same predicament, yeah. I like how the big uh, bad, the big enemy at the end was a baptism. (laughs) Oh, man. Like the big, the final hurdle before they get together, they have to... (laughs) Slow motion dive in front of that one drop of water. A bodyguard save for a baptism. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. So, yeah, the story was great. And, yeah, masterful. As we were saying, there's so many interweaving parts and stuff and everything felt purposeful in this episode. I didn't feel like there were wasted moments. No, not at all. It was just... Everything was either funny or to the plot or both at the same time. Or just was setting up future bits. Yeah. Even the way Marge goes, I need to do the dishes, I need to take the garbage out, the living mm. room's a mess, and then when the uh, Child Protective Services woman comes <laughs> they go over... straight through those things. Exact <laughs> same thing. Yeah. Although I do object, they say, uh, Toilet Pepper Hug yes. in improper overhand fashion. That's the correct way That's, to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gotta be overhand. Just anything is, it, yeah, because it is so many different reasons why <laughs> underhand is the worst way to hang toilet paper. It's the uneducated yeah. way of doing it. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. especially yeah. like underhand, you can't do that like neato little triangle folding thing. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. You can, you've got to like try and figure did. out like where is the end because you can't see, you've got to like reach around behind. Uh, you've got to go beyond it. the toilet roll to get the toilet paper. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's not presented to you like a platter. It's, I mean, <laughs> really. 
And uh, to tear it, you got to kind of like hold it on the top and then like pull from the back and oh, yeah, a one hand tear, a one hand tear is very hard. Exactly. No, Actually, here's a point: Have you ever seen an underhanded sticky tape dispenser? Uh, uh, boom. Dun, dun, dun. Wait. Take that underhanded boy. <laughs> the underhanders. <laughs> underhanders of this world. Go back to the underworld where you belong. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, it's fine. So we'll get back to the story. They're knocking the house down. <laughs> 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 right now <laughs> <laughs> This is a Destructo podcast <laughs> So you might hear some sounds of construction yeah. balls You know, going through the wall Some screaming <laughs> I'm very sad they don't use wrecking balls anymore to take know, down buildings very cool. <laughs> It's like they took the spectacle out of things Will they use mm. dynamite? No, they just oh. knock it down from the inside oh. Oh. Those shit. It's like really boring, it just disappears You know, well. Or like gradually chipping it away And so it's like, you know, when you eat a cherry and you've got to try and keep the stem attached so you're eating the most of the cherry while still keeping the seed and the cherry cherry stem attached. You don't know? I do not know that. Okay. I eat the cherry and I spit it as far as I can. Well, it's a game you can play where you've got to try and eat as much of the cherry as you can while keeping the stem and the seed like intact. I see. Are you a Mormon? <laughs> I do have magic underpants. Just but, out of uh, curiosity, <laughs> what are nachos to you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that's, 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 that's a cucumber cheese. with potter cheese, right? <laughs> yeah. Of so yeah. this was the also the episode that Wintergrain unflavored yeah. for me <laughs> comes from. And like, Which I, feel- I forgot the setup was just like, who wants ice milk? <laughs> yeah. uh, ice milk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You imagine like... I'm guessing wintergreen is like a spearmint kind of flavor. Yeah. Imagine spearmint off. milk. <laughs> so it's probably very good for your chakra. <laughs> Definitely. Um, wintergreen is a common flavoring in American products, ranging yeah. from chewing gum, mints, and candies. So there you go, kind there. of minty. Yeah. yeah. Well, I imagine like, yeah, watered down mint. The worst mint you could get. So play count. How many times do you think you've seen this episode? 97. 99. <laughs> This isn't the price is right, by the way. <laughs> I'm just going to split the difference. 98. <laughs> yeah, I've easily seen this an even 99 times. Um, <laughs> you were highest without going over. <laughs> you win the ski package. <laughs> Back to you, Larry. Uh, by the way, uh, Americans, uh, we had a Larry Emder instead of a Drew Carey. Yeah. I'm so wild about Harry. <laughs> it's Larry. Larry. Yeah. It's Larry. Yeah. Everyone gets this wrong in the theme song. Oh my <laughs> this was a, that was an actual ad as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm just letting other people know. <laughs> oh, good. That yeah, we getting the name of the person we just talked the name of. Wrong. You know, actually, I'd watch the Price Is Right as like my lead-in show for Six O'Clock Simpsons because mm-hmm. yeah. that'd be always on at five thirty. He had amazing teeth, Larry Emda. When I was younger, pre-internet, that was all you could hope for on a weekday was. Price is Right showcase was going to be a jet ski or a yeah. boat because the yeah. chicks had come out in bikinis. Oh, yeah. And that was the only time we got to see a girl in a bikini before or, Baywatch. So any impact or memories this episode had with you over the years? Like what's some oh, things yeah. that you've quoted a oh, billion this, times? This does memories. <laughs> <laughs> this does definitely <laughs> memories. Oh, wow. Where did it even begin? Hang on a second. I mean, ice milk, winter green, unflavored for me. Yeah. Sucks on my phone. Oh, yeah. Sucks on my phone. Do you reckon they actually made him do it through a saxophone? It sounds like yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's very good. Uh, a friend of mine really loves saying, stupid babies need the most attention. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Again, that was another bit that was really set up well. Yeah, it was really nicely done. Um, I think... The bit where it's like, my name's Flanders. I have stupid four eyes, wears the same green sweater every day. Let's bring for Wither. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, oh, that is just so smart. But for the stupidest reasons. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's heaps of ones that, yeah. Yeah, Nachos Flanders style. Try it. It's actually not bad. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Just don't Get call out. it Nachos. No. <laughs> it's fine. I'd just actually forgotten about that joke completely. So that caught me off guard and it was still funny. And I've also got the backup of bombardment, yay, of Bible questions. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I like how they're going, this is the easy one. Come on, breathes fire, has nine tails. <laughs> yeah. Come on, how could you not know? And Who then just the serpent of yeah. Rehoboam. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was good. And then I love parts like, Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> I like how Flanders can't say Jesus. Yeah. He's just like, yeah. Gee. Gee. <laughs> He's too stunned. <laughs> and he can't say it as an exclamation because yeah. it's a blasphemy. Swapping that with Lovejoy, who does yeah. say 
oh hell or something yep. as well and it doesn't have any problem with swearing and it's like yeah you can see yeah. why he's and that's the... why he gets his trains destroyed <laughs> yeah. why do you hate my trains <laughs> <laughs> have you thought about any of the other major religions they're all pretty much the same <laughs> yeah <laughs> the thing i love about that bit as well where the trains get you know smashed by the car and mm. they're trying to do the whole you know two guys with the mirror walking between yeah. the road thing <laughs> yeah. and then it's followed up with the homer taking the silver bullet baptism water holy water for yeah, very and very yeah. action movie and yeah. yeah in such like a low stakes ending though it's <laughs> yeah. just really oh it's all oh, the work. higher stakes yes mm. you saw what it did to homer yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, it was, yeah, it, there was one little like that caught my eye for some reason was when Ned faints, mm -hmm. and it's probably a couple of frames of Maud getting the smelling salts out of the drawer, mm -hmm. like opening it and then shutting it and then taking it over to Ned. And I thought they probably wouldn't bother with that in like later Simpsons for some reason. I don't know, she but just I just have it. Or... It was just good quality animation. Mm -hmm. for... No, there was a lot of attention to detail in yeah. this episode. Backed up rightly with, no, that ain't gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I do love Ned's face when he's fainting. Yeah. Especially now, I think you're right, Jordan, with saying they wouldn't have cut away to opening a drawer and getting something yeah. out of it unless mm. there was another gag in the drawer. Yeah. So yeah. It, and then it would be a five or a ten second shot because it'd be, yeah. that, it'd be like, I get the smelling salts. No, that's the Ninja Stars. No, no that's, that's the Poison the... Cupcakes. Yeah. No, that's that yeah. blowed up. That's the unsmelling salt. <laughs> yeah. That's, <laughs> that's regular that's salt. That's the smelling pepper at Chew. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> sick of that were there any jokes that flew over your head all the bible references still fly over my head i'm assuming they're a thing yeah, yeah. you know i feel like they would have done enough research to found weird serpents and things to throw in there yeah but yeah. and that they call attention to oh there's just not one book of the bible yeah, yeah. i wonder if they have versions as well it's like they're real ones. I feel the first again, one well one of the king james is definitely one so yeah but yeah. i don't know the other one like yeah. the... I mean, again i feel like this era Simpsons writer would definitely... It's like any time you research mm. one of Mr. Burns' old sayings, it's yeah. an actual old saying. It's a yeah. reference to something. <laughs> but yeah, then when he's listing all the situations, I, I can't even like quote them. It's just... The that, bride's feast of something, and it's like... <laughs> era who or bab yeah, <laughs> They're just the most obscure things. Yeah. And, it, yeah. and it struck me... I know that I knew this, but it brings it to the forefront with all things that are on the news now about... Muslims and Christians mm -hmm. and, and world and stuff that every single one of those things that he's describing in biblical history is all obviously Arabic history. Oh, but, yeah. And it's <laughs> like, yeah. they got a lot Just, of shit in common. Yeah, you really did forget about this, didn't you? I was about to say, America. When, when does uh, Islam branch off? Like 1600s or something? Or uh, before that? Well, yeah, it's just funny because, like, Americans just, like, yeah, appropriated that. Jesus as, yeah, a white guy when, yeah, all of the texts that they're referencing, <laughs> yeah, uh, just Middle they East. placed him in the Middle East. I, just I not... can't remember who says it, but there was a thing and it's like, it's all that, yeah, it says that made the exact point. They're saying, Jesus would have looked more like Danny DeVito <laughs> yeah. than, like, <laughs> like, than, than Keith Sutherland yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Don't, don't get many followers looking like Danny DeVito. <laughs> would have been really short, squat, <laughs> yeah. He's literally the leftover DNA from other yeah. Yeah. Did this feel like an episode yeah, of the CS? Absolutely. Uh, I didn't know, of course it did. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who is off point? Grandpa's a senile old coot. Yeah. Maggie uh, loves that water. Oh, I love Grandpa <laughs> when there's like, we leave you in charge of the kids for three hours, you get them taken away, and Grandpa's just like, bitch, <laughs> bitch, <laughs> bitch. Yeah. <laughs> love a sass coming from that old man. Yeah. It's speaking of a point, I, another bit of trivia for you. Yeah. Apparently, Cletus's voice is a little bit distorted because. Hank Azaria and the producers forgot what Cletus sounds like over the summer break. Yeah, oh, fair really? enough. Because at this point, he'd only ever had like one or two lines yeah. every now and then. And I'm like, can't you just go back and watch? Yeah, watch your own yeah. <laughs> Listen to yourself. Do the thing you did before. Oh, that's amazing. And another quick bit of trivia. The, the reason the statue of Swartzwelder is, is because they thought it was in, Springfield was in Swartzwelder County. Ah, oh, right. Because of the Dog of Death episode. Oh, um, there you go. Because they were in Swartzwelder County and that's the adjoining county. Ah. In that kind of montage thing. But yeah. Interesting. Oh, Interesting. there you go. Mm. Oh, yeah. It was cool to see the little Swartz Water statue anyway. Yeah. yeah. And I like how Marge was like, oh, my God, the kids got taken away because I had to indulge myself once. That is so like me. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, you're so like, oh, Marge. Her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's one of my first notes is like, she's just such like the perfect mum. Yeah. Really. And she's. <laughs> Even when she's saying, like, I'll just take some of the ironing to do with it. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> take some of the ironing in the car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's very dedicated. 
And yeah, Bart and Lisa are very on point for this one as well. I'm actually surprised Bart is so well behaved at the Flanders, considering. Yeah, considering we saw him in the last episode yeah. literally driving a tractor through the school. Yeah. You I would think just, he'd be more of an asshole yeah, too. Yeah, I think he's just so defeated at this point. Well, I think he just hasn't needed to push his own boundaries because he's not yeah. been on for 30 years. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I think as well, he, it's probably what drives him having a really good relationship. And I mean, we've seen it in, in other episodes too, but they often fight too, but him and Lisa getting along really well because they're both in this really shitty mm. situation yeah, yeah. together. So they yeah. stick together and like try and tough it out and, and yeah. yeah, help each other through this sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. It does seem like Bart really shines when he's paired up with someone else in the same scenario. Like yeah, mm. Bart yeah. and Homer in a caper is always great. Lisa and Bart doing something together, even if they are slightly argumentative. Mm. And th- that's where all the good Good gag lines. Yeah, that's that's yeah. how they foil Sideshow Bob every time. Yeah, and Mr. Burns. <laughs> there is so little to say about the integrity because it's it's almost it's like definitive of The Simpsons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, um, yeah. But let's talk about the wackiness of this episode. Um, there was a little bit. There was a lot of gun shooting in the um, parental class. <laughs> yeah. <for celebrations. laughs> uh, Maggie's exorcist like, yes. head. Oh yeah, around. <laughs> yeah. Daddily doodly. <laughs> yeah. uh, and when Lisa's tooth falls out, it does have like this little whistle as she talks in it. <laughs> I do like that. That was a great attention to detail. Yeah, yeah. I hadn't noticed that before. I don't think. Yeah. Uh, why there is is a huge set of power lines in the playground of the yeah. park for her, like for Lisa's, school. For Lisa's <laughs> shoes to get stuck on. Yeah, true. It's like true. right in the middle of the Gotta playground. Put power somewhere. Yeah. I yeah. Guess. Now, there was always a big thing with Galston High School because it's right underneath high-tension power lines, and yeah. people have been trying to get rid of them for years, but there's still no proof that they do anything. Yeah. Except send electricity. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and cancer- electricity is a myth. Wake up! Yeah. <laughs> Sheeple. <laughs> Sheeple. <laughs> yeah, like the, ba- the baptismal kind of... We already kind of said that, but the, the, yeah. the, the way it kind of like Homer is like... Uh, and like sizzles yeah. on his yeah. skin yeah. as it hits yeah. him and everything. I'll just Maggie's perspective. She looks at the Flanders, it's all rainbows and green <laughs> yeah. grass and bunnies. Cut back to Homer and Bart and Lisa in the river. The frog <laughs> just, just jumps sw- out. Yeah. Of yeah. Just <laughs> one frog. Oh, this is like a, a amphibious. Oh, we definitely have a strangling theme because Homer strangles oh, Cletus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and he, uh, and yeah, he strangles, he strangles the Cletus. plant as well. Yeah. I love in that moment where he goes, oh, you cut and picking. Yeah. <laughs> um, W- uh, wackiness the, the fact that they just burn all of Bart's clothes when he has lice and then oh, give him and the lice scream yeah. <laughs> and give him like a potato sack to wear <laughs> see and hell yeah windless and blood then suckers there's a guy one of the guys taking the adulting class is wearing yeah. a potato sack as yeah. well. <laughs> is oh. there a story going somewhere <laughs> no it's just, just, just sit back down <laughs> I don't know if it counts as wackiness I just want to bring it up the really good all is well Oh, it's turn tape over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, if that old Italian guy was yeah. in here, I'd take my towel off. Yeah, it's like, okay. Look, I do it first. <laughs> <laughs> the skin was so shiny in yeah. that sauna. Yeah. Like, ooh, I wanted to be in there. No, that, that was some really good bits of animation, though. Um, well, that and the, you know, we're taking you to a faster home and they do that kind of Hitchcock the yeah, zoom yeah, yeah. With, with, with the Actually, dun, 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 that dun. whole section was really animated like they're mm. looking through the back window of the car as they pulled out and yeah. then the really fast sharp turn yeah, yeah. All really cut well the done. music when they do the right turn right into the Flanders driveway yeah um, this is a big question let's talk about the heart of this ah, episode oh, so <laughs> many things boom, boom. all the boom, boom. Yeah, so yeah, we touched on it before with Maggie and looking between the families and then when Marge walks over that hill and you got that sunset and it's all yeah. this beautiful orange palette. Mm. Oh, gorgeous. It's, and they're before. like reaching out for each other yeah. and yeah. it's beautiful and she like whirls her around and yeah. they're so happy. And uh, yeah, even then when Bart and Lisa are like, they're 10 feet away and we can't even tell them how much we miss them. You're like, yeah. uh, there's something in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan's anal corner. Yeah. they yeah. yeah, got to be more than 10 feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they, know, they, know no, they had to be, they've got to stay 100 feet away, which yeah. is like, they say, yeah, we're 10 feet away. So they're immediately breaking the conditions. <laughs> but maybe the parents have to stay 100 meters away from the kids, but the kids don't have to stay, stand more than 100 meters away. 
away from the yeah, yeah. well that, that was one thing works. I did notice that it said the the parents aren't allowed to communicate with the children it didn't say anything about the kids yeah. not being able to it's uh, a loophole mm. Son. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. pop that loophole back in your anal corner <laughs> Ew. pop that loophole in your poop hole I was waiting for that <laughs> I was thinking it like yeah. wonder if anyone else is going to carry that <laughs> bravo bravo so Marge also she has a real big heartfelt moment when she's talking about the love for her son and daughters <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah I love that like just coming off okay everyone's graduating except for you Marge you tested positive for crack and PCP, PCP. <laughs> <laughs> 15 minutes later okay 15 minutes. so glad we cleared that up yeah so yeah it took Marge a little long to get to the whole LSD sons and daughters thing I know it, yeah. was, it was funny it's definitely one that flew over my head uh, before as well yeah definitely definitely it's just the heartfelt moment where they first get taken away and they they go back in the house and they close the door and Marge is talking about, you know, I can't believe, you know, they got taken away. Yeah. And it's all my, yeah, it's so me and Homer's like, he understands, it's no, it's all my fault. Yeah. You know, Bart bugs the hell out of me. I can't yeah. help Lisa with her homework and like all this <laughs> stuff. And it's like, oh, feel bad because he knows he's just he's trying and then later on at the court when he's yeah talking about how much he loves his kids and then oh and uh margaret lady you got the wrong family <laughs> and then backed up later again when he's like i wish you could remember something about the baby to miss yeah. you mean yeah. maggie yeah, yeah no, he's, he's like yeah that's it it's like, yeah. that's the thing i can remember about her, her, her name, name. <laughs> That, yeah, that she's the baby that I don't know much about and, yeah, I've got nothing against her. Yeah, I love it. He says that to the judge. I've got nothing against Maggie. Oh, his whole... It's not definitely not hard, but his whole back and forth with the judge as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. the... Uh, look, I'm never going to win father of the year. In fact, I'm probably the last person to have kids and it's just her eyebrow just goes yeah. up. Yeah, so, yeah. Wait, wait, let me start over. And just, you, at this class, you'll learn to... Yeah, yeah, communication. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you'll learn to listen. <laughs> Shut up, judge. Yeah, and even like it's a weird heart moment to take, but even Flanders' interaction with Maggie, like yeah. I thought there were some really cute moments, mm. like when he's playing peekaboo with her, and you're like, oh, maybe she's better off here with his, <laughs> with his weird chameleon eyes. Yeah, yeah. Where, yeah. The, where they say, oh, how, when was the last time Dad paid that much attention to her? It's like <laughs> that time she swallowed a quarter. He stayed the whole day with her. Yeah. That's right. And yeah, that sort of led into Bart and Lisa reminiscing about their parents as well. And yeah. like, oh, remember how Marge microwaves our underwear and dad phones in the radio with fake traffic tips? Like, yeah. <laughs> I love it because it speaks to their character, but yeah. it's, yeah, not shoving it in your face or anything. There was a little heartfelt Simpsons song as well where, well, it was a Flanders song. Yeah. Their parody of I Got You, Babe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was really cute. <laughs> I can't imagine them listening to Sonny and Sure. No, but, um, you know... Uh, it would definitely be like an appropriated gospel song. I almost feel yeah, like there's probably. a joke there to be made. Like, Sunny as in, you know, sunshine and Cher as in sharing. So oh, they got they got confused. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> like when they went to a Chris Rock concert and thought they were going to a Christian <laughs> rock concert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they thought it would be sunshine and sharing, but no. Yeah, but, I mean, we saw in the episode before Flanders taking all the swears out of the Hardy Boys book. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's it's true. It might be that th same thing where they take pop music but they like censor it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's gotten a little bit more liberal then because I was about to say because he was like, oh, I sometimes let them watch my three sons, but yeah. I, get to <laughs> I got them all worked, worked up, up for, for bedtime. <laughs> worked up. Oh like my, my God. three sons, like the most inoffensive show. That's so <laughs> it was painfully boring. <laughs> yeah. Like I remember they had reruns of it on one summer. Mm -hmm. and It was just yeah. Dark times in that four thirty time slot. Oh, God, yeah. we only had three channels. What were we to do? <laughs> Any other heartfelt moments you want to bring up? It's when they were taken away and like Marge is like fighting that woman to try and get oh, yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. And then when Homer's like, oh, look, we, it, he's the one who's like, look, we got to hold back on this one. Mm -hmm. And like she tries to lunge again. And he's like, no, come on. <laughs> yeah. Like, Mrs. Simpson, control yourself for her. Yeah. Be put Arrested. to jail. Yeah. And it's like, put to jail. Put to jail. <laughs> put to jail. <laughs> you you put to jail right now. Just like that guy Go from Police uh, Chasers. <laughs> that guy's going to be put to jail. <laughs> <laughs> police Chasers. <laughs> World's wildest, wildest police chases. chases. I just like uh, the bit he where... He thought he put the pedal to the metal, but the only place he'll be put is in jail. <laughs> to jail. In the metal of jail. I like the bit where their home is peeking through the blinds to see if they can see, and Marge yeah. is like, can you see anyone? He's like, no. Can I see Lisa? Or maybe a starfish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so classic. So, yes or no? Yes. 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 Yep, totally. We're going to watch it again. What playlist do we put it in? 
Um, Flanders centric ones. This was yeah. a very good Flanders episode. Strangulation playlist. Yeah, yeah. So this was a strangulation playlist. Homer did <laughs> choke Cletus and a fur. <laughs> I'm gonna put and also like it's a bit kind of a fern re- or religious. A... Well, fur is a isn't a fur yeah. like the big huge tree? Oh, oh I was like thinking of ficus. Sorry. Oh, okay. Ficus. <laughs> there we go. This is a jizz for a ficus. ficus. Say jizz. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> American Pie two quote. Ah, uh, you know, jizz is just the style of a bird. You know, like the... you say, it has the jizz of a sparrow. Apparently, that's the <laughs> as in like <laughs> yeah energy. As in like or... you, no, no, I like you I'm... see a bird and it's got like the right shape and features ah, of like see. a sparrow. They or should something. change that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think it. I What's think... wrong with the word shape? <laughs> yeah, but I what's think, wrong with the term? It looks like a sparrow. Yeah. The thing is, it's not like they created the word after jizz know, already. Know, made. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So wait, we need to take this word back. Credit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we we'll take it back. Jizz. Yeah. Give us all your jizz. But yeah, other playlist this one's belongs in. Um, yeah, just uh, if there's like a parenting uh, playlist, I guess. Yeah, there's got to be an itchy and scratchy playlist. Oh, the itchy and scratchy in this episode. Oh my yeah, god! Rod and Todd's faces oh, after just oh, drained of yeah. Foster yeah. Putty, Pussycat Kill Killer. I do like that. <laughs> yeah, the actual like scratchy getting nailed in this wasn't like anything to me. Like just getting stabbed with the bottle, whatever. Yeah. Um, but again, it was tying it into the theme of the Simpsons yeah. show, which was good. Did yeah. he get stabbed, or did he get like? Two cylinders like hollowed out of his got, chest. Co- like she, he was cored. Yeah. Oh, like, oh, it was. like he was he was oh, inversely like... boobed. Yeah. yeah, it's like that thing where you're making toad in a hole and you get the shot glass and you put it into the bread and the bread stays in and then you take a little bit of bread out and eat it with some butter. Yeah, sure. Sure, yeah. why not? <laughs> yeah. Was that like the jizz of a toad in the hole? <laughs> <laughs> it did. Oh. Well, that is a Although, weird wind in the willows book. <laughs> <laughs> they're just but they're just describing what Mr. Toad looks like <laughs> in his car. They're like, yeah, look at the jizz. Who else Mr. is that Toad? in the car? I can't quite see. It yeah. looks like they're in Mr. Toad's lap. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're My bobbing. God. My God. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, I think the true funny part of the itchy and scratchy bit is the reactions. And, oh, uh, man. <laughs> sure. Oh, and itchy pinching Scratchy's TV. I don't like <laughs> the stealing of the TV at the yeah. end. My it's... only show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and just, I... yeah, Rod and Todd just white-faced, <laughs> horrified. Sh- uh, that, that's what I was going to say. Quotes that have that we've influenced with the... Uh, did I poke hard in the chest with the sharp thing? Yeah. <laughs> no, son. No, sorry, Bob. I also just, and then it cuts to him looking at Bart like disapprovingly, and Bart's like, Yeah, his yeah. arms are just like, Go, go, go. He's doing like fucking pumps. Yeah. As well. He's not like going, Yes, 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 blah, blah, blah. He's going like, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, final parts uh, we want to bring up about this uh, episode. I love when Homer's calling up the Flanders house. This number can no longer be reached. <laughs> you negligent monster. <laughs> it's like accepting yeah. of it. Like, oh Yeah. Uh, Phil, did you have any other notes for this uh, episode? My only other note was when Bart and Lisa comparing the differences between home and the Flanders. And they say, they put honey on pancakes instead of maple syrup. And <laughs> Lisa goes, and they read Newsweek instead of nothing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the bit right at the end was like, well, uh, give me, what was it like at the Flanders house? Give me all the dirt. Uh, let's see, dirt. Dirt. He keeps a bunch of old paint cans in his garage. <laughs> and they all just lose it over. It. Oh, yeah, I knew, yeah. I knew he'd do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the most uh, innocuous <laughs> era. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. Just, well, that's the thing. You think about it, it's also kind of. Yeah, there wouldn't be any like real dirt about no. it. He's not. But I just love how they all love that bit so much. Like, yeah. oh yeah, that's but so him. Any but chance to uh, take him down a peg? You think it'd go? He wears uh, slippers to the shower or something like it'd be something super yeah he's a never knew yeah he's a never knew there are dozens of us <laughs> <laughs> dozens uh, i had two quick uh, anal corners go for it do they get sent home early from school because otherwise three hours yeah. is a long time they definitely get sent home early because okay. he's all like something's amiss at the old simpson place <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the, the batman, batman. transition yeah transitions okay so so yeah that's that. interesting principal skinner makes the um, effort to call trial protective services yet has Lisa and Bart sent home anyway. Well, I guess he knows the Child Protective Services are there and yeah. they want to meet with the children. Maybe and when you call them, they instantly take custody of the children. Yeah. Well, maybe it's just like a, they do just an assessment and yeah. then they figure it out. Yeah. Um, and the other one I was... Too much but he had to that. send them home because one of them's wearing a burlap sack yeah. and the other one doesn't have any shoes. The other yeah. one's got plastic bags on their shoes. Yeah. <laughs> and the other one was that when they're going to the river, mm-hmm. um, Maggie's in the front in the middle and then 
Lisa's in the middle, Bart is on the right, and only one of the Flanders' kids is in the car. The other one is just missing. I don't know where he is. Maybe he's in the booth. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> oh, was he? Yeah. yeah the, so, yeah. So they Couldn't go- tell who it was. You could just see the hair, and they both have the same hair. So, yeah, I'm yeah. assuming it was maybe Todd. But they oh, need that for the blocking for when the head turn, Maggie's head turns around. Yeah. yeah. Well, then you don't see that. So, because then you only see that half of the car when you see, mm. ha ha, you'll be Lisa Flanders, you'll be Bart Flanders. Ah! Yeah, you only see that half of the yeah, car, yeah. and then you don't see the rest of it afterwards. And I like, have three oh. kids in the back, so if you need to transport a fourth kid, just and don't draw the, don't draw them in. BT, do you have any final notes about this episode? Homer's baptism face is great. Um, <laughs> the writhing around it felt like Saint yeah. Augustine of Hippo. <laughs> when he meant Ambrose of Flanders. 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 What did you say? I said, "Shut your face, Flanders." <laughs> I do love how much stuff is just in the first act alone before the, before the first ad break. Oh, it's so rapid fire. Yeah, it's beautiful. Nope, my only thing is turn tape over, but I've covered that. Yep. So. If anyone deserves to be wrapped in seaweed and <laughs> buried in mud, mud. <laughs> it's you. Yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> like, yeah. Typical Homer saying something kind of weird, but like in a very lovely, meaningful but way. But he is, yeah, he's very thoughtful in his way. Mm. Yeah. Like he, you know, yes, he, he did... stole the present. <laughs> but it was well, still a present. Yeah, it wasn't stolen. Yeah. It yeah. did say free with yeah, test rides. Yeah, so <laughs> maybe disingenuously, <laughs> but yeah. 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 I like there was a bit of continuity there with Agnes Skinner was the one who yeah. oh. also <laughs> had Prince the Bull. Bathroom. Yeah, uh, so bathroom pillow makes a return. And yeah, now that I think about it, the county had Seymour taken away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 35 year old man. just screeching and screeching <laughs> at him. <laughs> okay, very good. Yeah, I was yeah. like the sentence, the bathroom pillow returns. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so many issues with bathroom pillow as a thought. <laughs> what are you? Yeah, yeah, what are you doing? I don't get it. Is it like a floaty? Yeah, it's an inflatable bath pillow, so you, so you can. can rest this doesn't make it any better. Is it like a like a, so it goes around your neck like a plain one, so I'm that you can so lie down in the bath and without, your head won't drown. I guess, but I yeah. think we're all fairly tall men, and I don't think many of us have ever really experienced a bathtub we could get all the way in. No, yeah. no. If, I, <laughs> if I drowned in the bathtub, it's because someone took my legs off. <laughs> my, my knees are. Uh, and at that point, dry. you've got other problems. Yeah, <laughs> they call you Jordan dry knees. Yeah. <laughs> I got the driest <laughs> knees in the west. Oh, Petey can Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this got referenced here, and then in the episode where Marge is a cop and she's yeah. responding to the domestic disturbance so we'll keep an eye eye out for that and maybe oh, make a up the yeah bath pillow playlist Ooh, yeah, <laughs> wow, chicka, wow wow and I also in this same scene loved the condescending tutor of the <laughs> of the class <laughs> how do we forget to mention that until now yeah <laughs> oh, so good and I guess this is like the kind of people they have to deal with that might not know yeah. but mm. oh my god <laughs> put your garbage at the garbage can people I cannot stress that enough <laughs> don't just throw <laughs> it out the window <laughs> If you leave milk out, it can go sour. Put it in the fridge, or failing that, a cool wet sack. <laughs> Which would work. Cool wet sack. <laughs> and the final thing I want to bring up is, yeah, where a biggest heartfelt moment, Marge picks up Maggie, does the twelve. Goes, oh, Maggie, you're a Simpson again. Mm. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it was so great, especially because, again, this was set up beautifully before mm. with her going daddly doodly as her yeah. seemingly yeah. first word. Oh, that was going to say the, the, the tick of Ned when he's calling Lovejoy <laughs> and how he can't stop doing the, the Simpsons, Italy, Italy, oh, yeah. <laughs> Italy. Yeah, like the... He's just cr- trying to grab onto words. He's just so <laughs> shocked. Just, yeah. <laughs> I do like that. Just, yeah, does it not baptize Italy? Yeah. Italy, <laughs> Italy. <laughs> Although Maggie's burp did sound more like Barney's. Yeah. Mm. Well, there is that. I have vaguely read a conspiracy theory about this somewhere. Oh, really? That there's maybe some some Barney out there. Some Barney. We know he's uh, Barney uh, yeah, he's donated that to Nelson's? that sperm bank. We, 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 I still yeah, enjoy right. the Nelson theory. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it belongs to this podcast, I believe. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. I, I, well, I heard it here first. So. I, I think I read it on Cracked. Uh, okay. yeah. mm. I want to say I read that on I read cracked. a lot of Cracked and I didn't see it. Yeah, me too. Know. It is uh, probably not wisely my <laughs> primary source of news. <laughs> hmm. I use Reddit, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and you Still? can say, hey, did you hear about this? And you go, Reddit. Ooh. Yep. Oh. Hey, you know what? Still better than Fox News. So. That's right. All right. Well, I guess it is time to rank this thing. I will. Jordan. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So. I think I'm, I'm on the same kind of thought. Yeah. I'm, uh, I look, my heart and brain are differing here. <laughs> uh, my guts are keeping them apart. 
<laughs> Which is probably a good thing. I got yeah. weird anatomy. Yeah, yeah. Really <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just lyrics to a very weird love song. Yeah. <laughs> It's my uh, friend Jordan with a na- leg for an arm and an arm for a leg. Uh, yeah. Dry knees, Jordan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> dry knees, Jordan. <laughs> DKJ <laughs> at his finest. Um, Sounds a bit like dick joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm really struggling. Yeah, you want to you wanna pass the yeah, baton? for the moment. Phil. I think I'm going to uh, QZ this one. Woo! Yeah, I think it's my... Not my first, maybe. My second. Yeah. Cubic. A uh, third by yeah. my count. Oh, I don't remember myself. There you go. I'm very, I'm a generous god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all the things you want the Simpsons episode to be. It's funny, it's heartfelt, it mm. feels, it moves at a good pace, it's quotable. I remember it now from the first time I saw it, which is a very long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I can't think of anything that this needs to mm. be a better Simpsons episode than it is. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, BT? Uh, I'm I'm kind of on Jordan's page here because I agree with everything you just said, Phil. I just don't know if I'm fully at that cubic is all. It's, yeah. And I can't think of anything, any faults on it. But um, it's just, damn it. Cubic feels too high and gold feels too low. What am I supposed to do? You want to hear where I'm going? Where yes. Going? I'm going QZ. Um, yeah. This is, and I actually probably went into this thinking gold, but this is such an incredible marriage of heart and jokes and story while it is probably lighter on jokes than some episodes like what impressed me this time around was the story in that we had these two interweaving things mm-hmm. that were ultimately about the same thing but from two different perspective and they were doing callbacks all over the place and man i just i can't fault it at all it's yeah. super good qz for me we'll go back around jordan <laughs> all right all right I, I'm going to go gold because it's not... I, I do love it and there's some great quotable moments and it's very heartfelt and it's very lovely. It's something about it that it just I can't go to that top level. It's I, I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it. It's intangible. It's it's ghostly mm. and, and it, hey, whatever. That's fair. Gold's but still excellent. Gold is, is still an excellent yeah. and I'm happy that it, if it makes it a dull cubic that uh, I, I'm, I'd still be happily... <laughs> You must feel really guilty. That was the longest pandering to say gold of ever. Heard. <laughs> no, I just yeah. I feel like I'm making the wrong decision. I don't as I'm no, saying it's it. the same one where my brain is like, but what what else do you want? And then the heart guts are all like, but I'm just not there. Yeah. Like, hmm. Maybe so, you need to fart. Am I just sleepy? <laughs> gassy? Are you gassy? <laughs> yeah, uh, uh yeah. Um, what do you got, man? This is actually the hardest one I've ever I've ever called. This is tough. Uh, I'm gonna try saying them both out loud again. <clears throat> I give this a gold. I give this a cubic zirconia. I got nothing. <laughs> Saying it out loud did not help. You know, you know what you could do? Yeah. You've said them both now. Let Elliot decide in the edit. No, <laughs> uh, I, I think I am actually going to go with gold. Yep. Surprisingly. I'm surprising myself here. Mm. But despite the fact that it is very quotable, there's something that just feels less iconic about it than some of the other ones we have cubic zirconia in. Sure. Um, and I guess that's what I'm kind of missing is that instant high recogni- recognition and... You know, you tell people you watch this episode, they're like, oh, yeah, cool. Uh, compared to some of the other ones where we say, oh, we watch Mr. Plow. People are like, I love that one immediately without hesitation. And there's just something on this one that doesn't I, have that. Factor. I wonder if it's because some of the themes, not the story points, but the themes maybe we've trod before in other ones that I would maybe they're more iconic in those yeah, episodes. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I suppose there's been no other Homer Starts a Small Plow Business <laughs> episodes. Very again. true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. There's something that makes it stand out because it is such a unique selling point hmm. but still you know flanders take neglect or he knows but no, i'm gonna stick with the gold i've, I've said it and i don't want to you know my future self hasn't traveled back to correct me so <laughs> that'll equal a dull cubic zirconia all up and all so that feels good that feels right at all yeah up. and other episodes that we've uh double q double golded were re- realty bites that's a good one mm-hmm. uh i'm with cupid the apu's seven days of valentine's from mm-hmm. Angela. Yeah. Uh, Little Big Mum, the stupid sexy Flanders. <laughs> yep. And uh, HOMR, when Homer gets the, uh, g- oh, the crayon, crayon in the brain. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I feel, I feel that's a good place for this one. Yeah, that sounds all mm. pretty like, like-minded like bedfellows. Yep. Bedfellows. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, I think I'm going to head to bedfellows. Um, anyway. Well, get out of my house first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, I'm going to... Uh, stupid sexy Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> It's his house now. He's marked it. <laughs> Whatever Whatever he falls asleep. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> Whatever the shape of the spunk is. Yeah. Play it jizz. Well, like. jizz. It has the jizz of an Elliot. 
<laughs> well, you can gate that bed. Just, just gate my house. <laughs> it's worth nothing now. <laughs> it's getting knocked down anyway, thank yeah. God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the builder's like, oh my God, what is this? I believe that's the jizz. <laughs> uh, like, oh, so not only does it need to be knocked down, it needs to be raised. <laughs> <It's an exorcism. laughs> and dig five he- feet beneath it as Salt well. Salt the earth. <laughs> All right, Ellie toes up. I already did that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that has been episode fifty-one of the Simpsons Index, Ooh. and um, also reminding you, we've got a bit of a new look on our website. We want you to go check it out. Um, I am excited. It's at about. <laughs> it's at, available to you at www.thesimpsonsindex.com. What was that website again? www.thesimpsonsindex.com. Cool. Thanks. And yeah, rate and like us on YouTube and hit the bell and fucking news. Do we still need to type www dot no. into the browser? Nope. No. You don't even need to type it. Just type it into the Google bot. Just type Simpsons Index and then hit the first thing that comes up. The I'm first actually... thing that comes up is actually like a scientific method of uh, ranking species. And then yeah, the Simpsons you've... Diversity Index. And <laughs> after you've ranked the species, come and watch. Come and rank them. <laughs> come and rank some episodes. Yes. Um, but yeah, yeah, we've made some improvements on the site. So yeah, go check them out. And yeah, that's episode 51. I've been your host, Elliot J. O'Neill. That's Jordan. Hello, bye. That's Phil. Goodbye, hello. And that's BT. Shop Cricky Martin, save. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, that's all the mustard in the Temple of Doom. (laughs) We should really get more. Thank you for checking out the Simpsons Index podcast. Don't forget to go to www.thesimpsonsindex.com for the spreadsheet and information about upcoming episodes. And for today's extra content. And that's the real story of Christmas. (laughs) And that's why I only have three testicles. (laughs) And that's why you hate horses. Get your shit together. Ah. Elliot, get a bag, get a stick with a nail in it, pick up your shit and get your shit together. Why does the stick have a nail in it? You can pick up the shit. But she's not going to stick to a nail like an old (laughs) tin can. You need a scoop, you fool. (laughs) Fine, get yourself a scoop. What, like a pooper scoop and not a pooper nailer? Yeah. That's the reason why I don't invent it. Depends if we're going nailer. with real or metaphorical shit. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, eat a bunch of fibre. <laughs> oh. No, oh, sorry, that no. was right in the microphone. They don't apologise to us. <laughs> You're the one who has to hear it back. Oh, I kind of smell it. It's kind of stuck Ooh. a little on the app right Why there. did you install smell of vision <laughs> uh, John, no more anals? Yeah, well, they... they no, no, no. Annals, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the annals of the anal corner. Um, Am I not coming out again? What's going on over there? How about now? How about now? What if I keep talking and I never stop and I open the gate? I can and hear I can you. Just You're just talking. not as loud as you were. Yeah. Maybe. Ah! Whoa! Oh! Sorry. Were you ready for two hundred percent, Phil? <laughs> That's the name of my other podcast. No, you're back to. I interview myself about <laughs> myself. <laughs> Tells it like it is, yeah. and we got two hundred percent. It's like Phil tells it like it, it is. Should be called "Fill Me In." Uh, <laughs>